chance to hear Brother Ren sing, and then we're going to shout out all the fans. Minister Jack, <laughs> you already know, man. Church is definitely in the building. They okay. fucking with me, though. All right, let's do it. Church check in, 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 church on the bitch here. Church check in, 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 church on the bitch, church on the bitch, church on the bitch. Church on the bitch, oh, church on the bitch, yeah, church on the bitch, church on the bitch, church on the bitch, church check in, let's go, Minister Jack, it's a new era and niggas is challenged, I'm in the kitchen, I'm cooking this crack, bitch getting taxed in my Benjamin static, truck in the front and the engine in back, 3Ks, everything I'm whipping in is black, three holes all wanna sit on my lap, high yellow heifer, I'ma hit her from the back, this is a fact, I'm taking your bitch, I'm not giving her back, bitch got some kids, I'm not dealing with that, the back of her throat where my children is at, now it's really the next. And her sister's a wreck The head was amazing The pussy was trash Run up on church And that pistol gon' blast Get your ass body Tryna to get to this bag In the church Church check in 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 Church on the bitch Yeah Church check in 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 Church on the bitch 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 Church on the bitch, oh church on the bitch, yeah. Church on the bitch, church on the bitch, yeah. Church on the bitch, listen. Church check in, let's go. Uh, relinquish the bitch. You loving and cuffing to be with the bitch. She came in with you, but I leave with the bitch. I bang and I bang and I skeet on the bitch. They be like Jabba conceited and shit. I push it to start, ain't no key to my whip. Believe in the game, don't believe in the bitch. I listen to sin and the rest of the pips. You chasing the bitch and ain't chasing the check. You look like a bitch when you making them threats. You talk how you talk, cause you safe on the net. When I see you, no talking, I'm breaking your neck. Catch a nigga like do him dirty on sight Whole lot of bargain, but I bet he won't bite Better nigga won't roll the dice with his life Double cross shirts, kid crucified twice, nigga Black! Church check in, 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 church on the bitch, yeah Church check in, 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 church on the bitch, church on the bitch, uh, church on the bitch, uh, church on the bitch, church on the bitch, yeah, church on the bitch, yeah, church check Church on the bitch, oh church on the bitch, yeah. Church on the bitch, church on the bitch, church on the bitch. Her church check in, let's go. Church, 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 check in. It's your boy, Minister Jack. Listen, I know y'all been looking for me, but at the bottom of this video, in the description section, you see where it says follow me. You can follow me on all social media platforms. You know, make sure you click the links in the description so you can get in touch with me and get in tune with everything I post at all times. You never know, the haters might try to take us down. Also, make sure you follow my backup channel, Minister Jack Church Media. Follow the channel now. We are, we are not going nowhere. We're here to stay. Make sure y'all paying attention. Church on the move. Peace. Minister Jap, I'm talking to you, nigga. Yeah, yeah, I got a kid. I got, I got two daughters and a son. Yeah, man. Black women are bad mothers. And that's why you having a baby by the motherfuckers you had a baby with is your fault. That's why you being a single mother is your fucking fault. That's why being a baby daddy ass nigga is your fault. Live from the church. Church check in. It's Minister Jack. Black women, they're some of the most worst bitches on with money, but yet they're still taking trips and they look fly doing. They are the flyest broken bitches you're gonna ever deal with. On Minister Jack TV. Church check in, man. Church check in.
open the fucking hole. Not up in the door. Where's my bitch? Open the fucking hole. Not up in the door. Support. Much love. Appreciate you for that tent. Hashtag TBAS the movement. These bitches ain't shit. You know? About to get married and shit. Wonderful feeling. Shout out to Kitty P with the 20 piece. Sir. Hashtag TBAS. Shout out to Staff Music with that $5 holler. Oh, Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh, man. Y'all know I'm just playing, man. April Fool's Day. Oh, <laughs> 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 Y'all can't wait. Like, yeah, baby, mama, do an interview. The old child support. Yo, child support. <laughs> Yo, child support. <laughs> we got him, y'all. We got him. Good Shout out my girl. She want a baby so goddamn bad. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my God, man. You gonna kill me for that one. You know what I'm saying? Where's my bitch? I have, if I had a kid, that motherfucker be bad, that motherfucker, man. But I be putting him up to this shit. <laughs> we be doing pranks, all types of shit. You know what I'm saying? All types of shit. You say I'm having a baby with Philly Barbie? <laughs> I'm having a baby with Baby Amy. Fucked around, start drinking that yike. And fucked around and hit Amy Amy from the bite. Man, God <laughs> Where's my bitch? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. That would be amusing. That would be amusing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yes! Want to talk about this shit today. We got Deacon Weasel. Okay, I see you stepped it up. Church, appreciate you with the $5 holler. Oh, Y'all They got the grandma die. Black women don't cook for the holidays or in general for the kids. They just be on social media all day live. Uh, rest in peace to food in the hood. That's probably what you meant to say, the hood. All right. Appreciate you. Digging Weasel in the building. <laughs> My brother, Michael Clemens. Straight out that 87th man. South side. Say what it do, Jack. Coming through with that 20-piece. Much love to you. Get up. <laughs> Are you are a pervert? That nigga, your personal testimony, man. I just sat down with him personally and, and coached him through dealing with the baby mama bitch he was dealing with. You know what I'm saying? He almost got caught up in it. Seen the nigga had a good job and tried to get my nigga, man. Hell no, man. Hell no. See, that's why these hoes don't like this show. 
You take you're telling all the dudes not to fuck with us. No, I'm telling them to fuck y'all and fuck y'all over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, it's April Fools. And it doesn't take for one day to realize that most of the black women are fucking fools. They are the true and living. April Fools joke. Yes. Recreational uses only. Black women are a April Fool's joke. It's hard to not laugh when you scroll down your timeline. Even the shit that they recommend, it's hard to not laugh. Looking at confident fat bitches, you know what I'm saying? Bitches just jiggling, bitches twerking, bitches doing just, it's just phenomenally funny. Even the bitches that think that they're intelligent, it's laughable. It's laughable. Just a bunch of untalented idiots. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 black women take everything and ruin it, especially music. Y'all thought that black men were making the most explicit, you know, uh, derogatory music? No. No, we got the Sukiyanas of the world, the Sexy Reds of the world. You know what I'm saying? These bitches do it to themselves. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't find myself wanting to uh, listen to a Sukiyana song or listen to a Sexy Red song and all that. Like, who the, what, what, what man, what man pops that in their motherfucking uh, 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 dash, man? What man pops that in the deck? It says it's time to ride around bumping motherfucking Suki Rick. <laughs> Suki, Suki, Yana, and Sexy Rick. Shout out to Trinae. Salute to all the ladies, man, showing love, man. Y'all brothers need to step it up, man. This is supposed to be y'all's show. The ladies is out here really showing some motherfucking support, man. Appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? She say passing the plate for the ladies of the church. That's what's happening. Perfect. You, 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 you. Oh, hey, perfect. See, I don't like a lot of that man shit. This ain't the He-Man Woman Haters Club. We just real niggas, and we going to tell you how to deal with women. But we deal with women. You know what I'm saying? Best believe. We don't take no shit off women. We ain't taking no instructions off women. And women ain't here to teach us. But at the end of the goddamn day, we going to mix and mingle with women. Y'all ain't going to be no motherfucking, uh, no motherfucking goofballs, you know what I'm saying, coming up out of this church. I'm telling you that now. That's what happened to the manager. Bunch of fucking crazy motherfuckers. Like that crazy ass nigga that jumped on the train. That was one crazy nigga. You know what I'm saying? You can look at him and tell him he ain't seen no parts of the pussy. <laughs> you know, I had, to, I had to distance myself once they started ushering in gays, the white bitch, and the tricking. I was like, man, what, what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? Am I, am I, have I gone crazy? When the fuck did we start doing this? <laughs> Y'all can have that shit. Y'all can have that shit, nigga. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, anything the black woman touches goes to shit, man. Goes to shit, especially this music. I, man, I gotta let y'all hear this song, man. The, the, Black women are forever the April Fool's joke, man. For real. They are the April Fool's joke wearing a Halloween mask, all, wearing a clown costume all year long, nigga. All year long. <laughs> Listen to this shit. Listen to this shit. This don't need work. Let them nut all in my guts and then I go and cut my purse. Let them nut all in my mouth. I think I. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on here, church. Hold on, hold on, hold on here, church. We got to bring that back, man. Somebody get your little cousin. You know what I'm saying? This is this is why y'all are laughable. Who could take Who could take these bitches serious? Who could take these bitches serious? 
If I if I douse this bitch with water, she is going to look like a Rottweiler in the face, nigga. Straight up, man. They do it to themselves, man. We don't ask for these tattoos on y'all titties, by the way. I've, ne I've never seen a nigga request that. Quickest way to get your titties unsucked, put some tattoos on them, bitch. You got some of these Melvins and these perverts that will suck the ink off the titties, though. Pervert, you pervert. And he's like, I suck the ink off them titties. Jeez. A titty is a titty. See, you youngsters don't know. <laughs> you youngsters don't know. Suck the, suck the motherfucking ink out that shit. You niggas is nasty, man. What's going on? What's going on with niggas, man? Thought we was real niggas, man. Let's get into this shit. Fuck a plan B. Them shits don't need work. Fuck a plan B. <laughs> Fuck a plan B. These shits need work. Let me tell you something, man, about today's black woman. Oh, my God. I, I've been telling y'all this for the longest, man. What, what y'all not going to believe until y'all hear from the white bitch? Do, do just stealing things got to tell y'all that all these bitches want is raw dick and cheap liquor? For y'all to believe in Fuck a plan B. Fuck a plan B. And so we supposed to feel sorry for these hoes get pregnant. Like, nigga, that's what, you'll be a dumbass to stick your dick in this bitch wrong. Telling you that now. Ain't enough Hennessy in the world. Ain't enough Hennessy in the world. Maybe if you off that Ciroc. You know what? I'm starting to think about that with that Diddy shit, man. That Ciroc used to have me wilding out, man. <laughs> I think that shit was, I think that shit was doped. I think Ciroc is spiked, man. I'm, put, I, I'm not fucking with Ciroc ever again. Pervert. You are a pervert. I'm not fucking with Ciroc ever again. I think, I think it was laced, man. Cause don't nothing get me motherfucking drunk like that shit. That's Ciroc, man. That's the rock of how you're sticking your dick in this bitch and shit. You know what I'm saying? Actually, it, you, you'll be doing it slow, too, trying to make love to this little hoe. This little hood roach. This little hood roach. You over here trying to make love to the hood roach. God damn, nigga. What's going on with y'all niggas, man? We got to tighten up. We got to tighten up. Fuck a plan B. Them little shits don't need work. Let them nut all in my guts and then I go and cut my purse. Let them. Let them nut all in the guts. And then she go pop a perk. Shout out to the happy Latina. Another lady of the church showing love. <laughs> Say she never listen to the moisture saturated song on repeat. Damn, what's going on with my brothers in here, man? Brother, y'all got to check in, man. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that share button. Hit that cash app. Hit that super chat. Let's go. I'm not all in my mouth. I think I got some on my shirt. Kept my $50 and I went and blew it on some yurt. You don't, see, my mouth. I think I you don't see what this bitch got in her hand. This bitch got a uh, 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 ultrasound in her hand. Got some on my shirt. Kept my fifty dollars and I went and blew it on some yurt. Yeah, fuck a plan B. Them little shits don't need work. Shout out to Stab Music with the two pieces. Say coconut, Ciroc, and pineapple juice. They give me my shit. They give me my shit. So I found out Diddy was sucking Diddy's, man. It was sucking niggas Diddy's, man. Shout out to Brown Hornet, man. Day one. Stand down with the church, man. He say, church, we back. Yeah, we got a blessed church with the Jesus. I got you. Duck, oh. Shout out to uh, Brown Hunter with the 20 piece. Let's see, man. We got the mom with the 20 piece. Appreciate you. Fuck up plan B. Like I 
I say black women are just laughable. It's just it's, it's just laughable. Shout out to Mac, Maximilian coming through with the uh with the with the twenty piece. Appreciate you. We got the brother Tote Nar sponsoring us today. Heavy with a hundred dollar holler. I'll make sure I play that that Jesus song. Maximilian said, "What up? Shout out from New York, nine one four. Shout out to New York, man. Y'all get the migrants in order, man." And stop buying pussy from the migrants. Stop buying pussy from the migrants. I know what you niggas out there doing. Shout out to uh to uh to to Noah. He say, "Put yourself first, black man." Hashtag TBAS. Hashtag we back. Shout out to Tote, man. Dollars and I went and blew it on some yurt. Yeah, fuck a plan B. Them little shits don't need work. Let them nut all in my guts and then I go and pop my purse. Let them nut all in my mouth. I think I got some on my shirt. Kept my fifty dollars and I went and blew it on some yurt. Kept my fifty dollars and went and, <laughs> went and bought some yurt. Man, it like I'm saying, like how are we degrading black women? You know what I'm saying? When y'all are the April Fools, y'all are the fools. Y'all, y'all are stupid enough to turn the camera on when you're doing and saying this stupid shit. You know what I'm saying? This is this is pathetic. You know what I'm saying? But this is why y'all have gold medals in abortion and gold medals, platinum medals, and baby mama hood. You know? In my mouth, I think I got some on my shirt. Kept my $50 and I went and blew it on some yurt. Yeah, fuck a plan B. Them little shits don't need work. Let them nut all in my guts and then. I couldn't I couldn't I couldn't keep a straight face longer. Let them nut all in my guts and then I go and pop my purse. Let them nut all in my mouth. I think I got some on my shirt. Kept my $50 and I went and blew it on some yurt. Yeah, fuck a plan B. Them little shits don't need work. Let them nut all in my guts and then. I couldn't keep a straight face longer. Let them nut all in my guts and then. I couldn't keep a straight face longer. Let them nut all in my guts and then. I couldn't keep a straight face longer. Let them nut all in my guts and then. I couldn't keep a straight face longer. Let them nut all in my guts and then. I couldn't keep a straight face longer. Let them nut all in my guts and then. I couldn't keep a straight face longer. Let them nut all in my guts and then. I couldn't keep a straight face longer. Let them nut all in my guts and then. I couldn't keep a straight face longer. You know what I'm saying? But April Fools, nigga. April Fools, nigga. I know these niggas gonna run with. It. Boy, if I had a baby on deck, y'all, the, the, the niggas, these niggas would be doing more videos than me, man. Look at Jeff and the baby. Look at Jeff and his baby. It's a nigga. What kind of nigga hangs out with his baby? Like, these niggas are so fucking lame, man. So fucking lame, man. Yo, shout out to Catherine with the $2 on the cash app. I see you. Look at my ladies coming through today, man. <laughs> they like, we not April Fools, Dap. We actually good people. We not April Fools. Stop swagging us. Stop swagging us. <laughs> Them motherfuckers can't wait till I get a baby mama. I told you, I told you, he talk all that shit about dick discipline, and he got a baby mama. He got a baby mama. He out here getting these bitches right in. He's a dirty dick right in. Pervert, you are a pervert. They live for that day. Then the bitches will be coming out. You got Hosea Ray coming out. The bitch, uh, Crystal Swirls will be coming out. These bitches be like, they be doing fucking eight hour panels about me and the baby, nigga. Y'all be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, y'all hoes, stupid. Y'all the stupid ones. Y'all the ones broke with kids. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all hoes want to be broke with kids. Cynthia G, be like, shit, come out of retirement. I got him. I told you. The black man is a dusty. Minister Jap is a dusty with a dusty baby. <laughs> He's got a dusty baby. You know what I'm saying? Hit the motherfucking holes with that. I want you to know he's got a. <laughs> I want you to know he's got a baby. <laughs> they wish. They wish. Let's get back to these bitches, man. This is like the abortion song. This ain't even an abortion song. This the I'm gonna kill my baby with drugs song. Or if the baby survived, the baby gonna have brain damage song. Kept my fifty dollars and I went and blew it on some yurt. Yeah, fuck a plan B. Them little shits don't need work. Let them nut all in my gut. Oh, the plan B works. <laughs> the plan B works, my nigga. Ain't that crazy? 
that you didn't pop so many plan B's that your body is immune to it. So like now they don't work. You know what I'm saying? You gotta like, you gotta like pop, you gotta pop drugs. Shout out to Arthur with the two piece on the cash app. See you, man. And then I go and pop my purse. Let them nut all in my mouth. I think I got some on my shirt. Kept my fifty dollars and I went and blew it on some yurt. Yeah, right around town, saying I'm the hottest in the city. Pussy good as fuck. I guess that's why he turned me to a twinkie. Threw this pussy on him. Then I went and popped the plan B. So hot. <laughs> Threw the pussy on him. Look at look at her chest, bruh. Look at her chest, man. We got some raggedy. Y'all are April fools, man. April fools. <laughs> I think this month we gonna really drag. I think this month we gonna really, really have to drag hoes. We drag your hoes and Diddy all month, man. I don't think I'm gonna do no serious shows. It's all, all dragging, all dragging and, 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 and Diddy shows, man. Cause this shit is getting out of hand, man. Look at, look at that shit. Ain't nothing sexy about that. Ain't nothing sexy about that. I just can't wait till you, I can't wait till you bitches turn 50, man. I can't wait till you bitches turn 50 with that shit on your chest. That bullshit on your chest. How the fuck I'm pregnant? Nah, I think this little test tweaking. Ain't no way I sent that 50 and this shit ain't even work. Could have been high as a kite if I just went and bought my perks. Doctor say I can't pop no more perks, I'm about to go berserk. And now I'm at the clinic crying because that shit ain't even work. <laughs> now she at the clinic crying because this shit ain't work. These hoes ain't shit. <laughs> These bitches ain't shit. Shout out to uh, Greg, man. He say congratulations on the baby, Jack. Fuck a plan B. All right, yeah, nigga, fuck a plan B, nigga. We going wrong, nigga. You niggas ain't gonna get police me. I'll do what the fuck I want to do. You see what I'm saying? I'm a man. You know what I'm saying? So if I want to nut all up in the hood, right? And have babies with her, that's on me. Mind your business. A pervert, you are a pervert. You know, if I want to trick on the hood, right? And nut all up in her, that's on me. You know what I'm saying? These niggas crazy. These niggas crazy, man. You know? But yes. Black woman is April Fool's joke. Walking, talking, living, breathing, April Fool's joke. Walking, talking, living, breathing, twerking, April Fool's joke. All through social media, as you scroll, you cannot take none of these whole series. This is a this is a great time that we're in. If you have perspective, because before. You had to find out that bitches were whores. You had to find out the hard way. She's, if you literally look on her Facebook and Instagram, you'll know all you need to know. Because what these hoes advertise is idiocracy. This is why they're a joke. This is why they're laughable. This is why I don't understand, unless you just want to be entertaining and, and use these hoes as a punchy bag, I don't understand why I even have these debates with these hoes. All these hoes are stupid to me. Like, they be all, you know, they, they don't even challenge me in no comments. It be you niggas. Y'all think you smart. You know, but only time y'all really want to challenge me in the comments is about tricking. Because that's what you, that's your social life. It's just not mine. You know what I'm saying? I don't buy pussy. You do. A fucking pervert. And I understand it hurts that there's a nigga who doesn't agree with your pervert ass. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't understand what. Why you niggas got? You, you think you're gonna convince me? Are you under the impression that you're going to change my mind? <laughs> are you under the impression that you are going to change my mind? Are you under the impression that 
you can convince me that getting a passport and buying pussy, uh, 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 uh get, getting a flight, sitting for 15 hours to go buy pussy from fucking hoes for $40 after 10 niggas and fuck them that day is a great idea, is living, you are sadly mistaken. I am cut from a cloth that you could never wear. Like, I think, I think niggas just want to go, I think niggas just want to see me go have fun. And that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. But buying pussy ain't fun to me. I don't, I don't consider that fun at all. That, 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 what the fuck is wrong with you? This is why that's what I said, man, listen, don't worry about it, man. I'm not in the metasphere anymore. Have a blast. You got your blue hair gay niggas. You got the white bitch. You got your tricks. You got your passports. Y'all good, bro. Stop trying to stop trying to lump me in. I'm I'm all right. I want no parts of the fuck shit. I'm outnumbered. You know what I'm saying? I'm outnumbered with the fuck shit. Do you have your passport? Did you get your shots? Girl, would you like to come back with Rob to America? America, America, America. Do you have your passport? Did you get your shirt? Who guys don't realize how good of a time it is right now for niggas if you knew what you were doing being that the black woman is an april fool's joke and that means she's nothing to take serious so you wouldn't have any disappointments if you had perspective you would know no matter how good she looks she's a hoe you would know, no matter how educated she is, she's a hoe. You would know, no matter how big her ass is, she's a hoe. You would know, no matter how good of a job she has, she's a hoe. You would know. So your expectations would be very low of a bitch. You know, you you should know if you get action out of bitch, you're going to fuck within the within a seventy two hour window. This is this is two thousand twenty four. What world are you living in? Oh, if you take the bitch on a date, who's taking bitches on dates? They don't ask for that shit. They don't require that shit. They only ask for that shit from stupid niggas. You want to be the stupid nigga? These bitches are whores. They are just as horny as your pervert ass. You just don't know it. You don't know how to entertain bitches. You don't know how to motherfucking. That's what I'm saying, man. Like, you niggas got to get out the motherfucking computer. Get your ass in the bitch face. You know what I'm saying? I've had so much pussy, I'm not excited. I'm not. I'm, y'all niggas act like some motherfucking t- teenagers. That's the thing with a lot of these management niggas. They act like they fucking teenagers, man. They don't realize how easy these holes are. These holes are easier than they ever been. They are. They have never been this easy before. They're eating ass now, nigga. Pervert, you are a pervert. That's that. That makes them the biggest April Fools. They running around here eating niggas ass. Man, I had a video. Let me see if I I still got it, man, in my phone. It was a bitch. And she said, all all she need a nigga to do is have some money 
and a clean ass. That's all she wanted to do. Man, let me find this goddamn video. That's all that bitch. I said, what the fuck is wrong with these hoes? What is wrong with these hoes? These hoes need fathers. Fathers! Fathers! Yeah, I got it. I got it right here. Let me, let me get this video for your stupid ass nigga. Get this video for your stupid ass nigga. Trick ass niggas, man. You still, you still, you still spending money in the Brooklyn. Shut the fuck up, trick ass nigga. Wait for that shit to transfer to the motherfucking computer. But yeah, man, these hoes is hoes. Give a fuck, famous. You know what I'm saying? Bitches quiet. Them the best hoes. The freakiest bitches, man, I'm telling you right now. The freakiest bitches right now are bitches that wear glasses, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> Find you a bitch with some glasses on, nigga. Find you a bitch with some glasses on, nigga. And it's on and popping, nigga. It's on and popping, nigga. Trust me. Get you a bitch with some glasses on. Imagine... Get you a bitch with some glasses on. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. I, I think this is the video what this bitch said, man. These hoes are fucking. These hoes are fucking joke. But before that, before we get into that, before we get into that, before we get into that, you got to understand that whole culture is being pushed and it's put, being pushed, marketed, and it's celebrated. You know what I'm saying? Hoes are, are more of a prominent figure in the black community than these so-called educated, you know what I'm saying, women or whatever. All these, uh, these so-called accomplished women. Being a hoe is an accomplishment now. You know, ever since Superhead, bitches have taken, taken the blueprint and have ran with it. You know? And that Diddy shit with them hoes, man, it just goes to show you, man, bitches ain't shit. Bitches ain't shit. Like, they know they hoes, man. That's why you you, you have got to make these bitches earn respect because they come in leading like a hoe. But I'm telling you, they don't require no money. They going to, listen, I'm going to tell you like this. This is how this shit is with these bitches. They will talk all that. Yeah, nigga, I ain't fucking no nigga. This, this, and this. Let's give him a bag. If every nigga she come across don't give her a bag, you know what's going to happen? What's going to happen, Jeff? That bitch pussy is still activated and she's still horny. So who she going to fuck, Jeff? Who she going to fuck, Jeff? She going to fuck the nigga she comfortable with and the nigga she like. But they are very proud of being hoes. That's why you are the joke. You are the everlasting, walking, living, breathing, talking, twerking joke of the black community. Yeah, I said I'm really like I'm more like with a with a W. Like I'm a. But define that. You, you see what I'm saying? She she she's saying she's a whore with the W. You know what I'm saying? She wants she wants. She wants you to know to address her properly. I have no problem treating a woman how she deserves to be treated. Are you hearing me? I have no problem treating a woman how she deserves to be treated, goddammit. She earned this title and she's happy about it. And don't let me get in the way. Don't let me get in the way. I'm going to treat you exactly how you want to be treated. I just had a conversation with somebody the other day. I said, I'm really like, I'm more like with a, with a W. Like, I'm more. I don't know why they bleeped it out. It's just whore, but whatever. But define that, though. Like, I'm more. 
<laughs> and, and she's just happy with it. But these would be the same black women who say black men don't protect us. Y'all denigrate us. Man, we don't got to denigrate y'all. Y'all y'all are on autopilot when it comes to degrading y'all selves. So autopilot. You know what I'm saying? All we got to do is just shit. Turn on the live and let y'all go, man. Shout out to Dwayne, man. He say, get him, Jack. You know I got him. You, 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 know I got him. Appreciate that 20 piece, my nigga. You know I got him. But this is the craziest shit I've ever seen. Well, no, it only, it's going to always get crazier. It's always going to get crazier. When you're dealing with black women, these fucking bitches are crazy. These bitches are nuts, you know. But this is the shit that they do when they out, man. That's why I, I don't understand what is what is so hard about getting free pussy. <laughs> Y'all want that? I'm in a bind, Nate. Pussy. I'm telling you, these bitches are nasty, disgusting. They're disgusting. Feces face. All a pervert. This shit. Thank you, thank you, Skinner. This shit is so simple right now. The game is so simple right now. You know what I'm saying? You literally meet a bitch, all you gotta do is look at her, look at her gram, look at her Facebook and see what she's about. Adjust your game appropriately. 72 hour window. If that. If that's what you're looking for, that's what they looking for. This is the hook up culture. Hook up culture, my nigga. And it's about to start getting hot out here. The sundresses is going coming on. Man, if y'all niggas don't get out here and get in these bitches' faces, man, you're doing yourself a disservice. Real talk. Let's let these bitches talk, man. Let's see what's happening. Never ask a woman a age. I'm old enough. I'm grown. Are you pushing 30 or past it? Oh, my God. I'm old. I'm up there. I hate when a bitch say, don't ask a woman a age. You know what I'm saying? Anything a bitch is willing to hide, she's not proud of. You know what I'm saying? Makeup, she's not proud of her skin. Hair weave, she's not proud of her hair. If she has any. You know, it's just it's just whatever they hide, they are they are ashamed of. She's ashamed of her age because she's nowhere where she's supposed to be at that age. So she'd rather not tell. I hate, who came up with that? And then y'all wonder why, oh, so many niggas out here messing with the young girls and shit like that because y'all hoes on the real, y'all don't want to tell niggas y'all age. Y'all are so deceptive. Just tell us your fucking age so we can know what the fuck we're dealing with. Because the lying ass hoes is out here telling fake ages. Tell your real fucking age so niggas can know what the fuck is up. Bad enough you hoes are hiding kids. You got, you bitches are a joke. You're a joke. I'm not going to stop laughing. Y'all going to have to, y'all have to change for me to stop laughing. I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you a race of women that nobody laugh at. Don't nobody laugh at the Chinese woman. The Asian woman. She don't get laughed at. She does not get laughed at. She does not get laughed at, my nigga. Straight up. That 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 Latin woman, she's emulated. She don't get laughed at. You know? The white woman is not getting laughed at. That's y'all. Y'all are the joke. But, I mean, y'all embrace it. And that's the crazy thing. They embrace this shit. They're embracing this shit. That's my friend. What's going on? What do you need from a man who you're going to take seriously? Money. 
money. Yeah, but here's the thing. No man is trying to take them serious. So you don't have to give up any money. Get this bitch some Casamigos, hang out with her, let them play some future. You know what I'm saying? And you're going to be banging them. If not, go on to the next. They're all the same. That's all you look for. In a clean Lord. booty hole. Money in a clean booty hole. Lord. Didn't I tell y'all? Now you run around here trying to buy pussy and these bitches out here. All they looking for is niggas with money and clean booty holes. <laughs> y'all think I be lying when I be telling y'all I be seeing this shit on live. you are like, nah, Jeff just be capping, man. These bitches ain't that bad. Nigga. Are you pushing 30 or past it? Oh my God. I'm old. I'm up there. That's my friend. <laughs> what do you need from a man who he got that BBL looking strong, nigga? Perfect. You're gonna take serious, dude. I'm the guy that told y'all that uh, 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 ass eating is the new French kiss. Ass eating is the new dick suck for these bitches now. All you gotta do, if you want, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. If you want. Bitches to do anything, just put it on a beat. You can make black women do anything if you put it on a good beat in a song. If you put it in a song, these bitches will do it. Trust and believe, nigga. Case in point, Casamigos. <coughs> Till that shit came in a song, bitches wasn't drinking that. Another one, Duce. Until until bitches put that, until motherfucker put the Duce in a song, bitches wasn't drinking no goddamn motherfucking cognac. Now these hoes is drinking cognac, pussy stanking. You know, all you gotta do is put it in a song. I come from the era where bitches wasn't sucking dick like that until Superhead came out, until people started rapping about it like that, until bitches started rapping about how good the head game was. That that used to be, you used to be able to get, you used to be able to get laid missionary. You know what I'm saying? Bitches be like, you know, they was just like all like, you know, they was a little bit more innocent. You know? Now these bitches be talking crazy about, you You go online and these bitches just be bragging about how good their head game is. That shit was unheard of when I was coming up. I'm gonna say, you niggas got it great right now. You got it great right now. You know who the good dick suckers is. You know what I'm saying? You know who the sluts are. You know... You know who the money motivated bitches are. You know how to play this shit if you know how to play this shit. You know? Because I'd be damned if I paid for some pussy and it was terrible. <laughs> Niggas don't tell you no shit like that, though. They're like, all, all paid for pussy is good pussy, right? You, 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 you are a pervert. They say, all paid all pay for pussy is just good pussy. Shout out to LT. Uh, 144k with the 20 pieces say jack you be putting us on a drought my dude welcome back uh women's insecurity stems from eve's punishment uh stated in genesis 316 bro i just i just did four shows in the last two days i did four shows but much love to you i know i know i know i'll be taking hiatuses and shit i'll be trying to stay motivated man I gotta stop reading the comments, man. These trick ass niggas in the comments be pissing me off. I'm like, this shit does not resonate with these niggas, man. They just don't get this game. They just really are, they really are passionate about purchasing pussy. I just don't get it. I never will. 
Seriously. Money. That's all you look for. In a clean Loyalty. booty hole. Money in a clean booty hole. Loyalty. Loyalty come first. What's this? Talk, these hoes talk. The other hoes talk about loyalty and all this. This bitch come in money in a clean booty hole. <laughs> Hashtag money in a clean booty go booty hole. Booty hole have to do with anything. That's what she like. You she like eating ass? Like. She yes. eat ass. She eat ass. This was never heard of, bro. One of these coming up, man. In the in the in the throwback the throwback jersey era. You could be fucking a bitch for a month before she get, give you uh, give you some head. That's how sacred bitches was acting about that. Let alone eat some ass. She look like you like you crazy. <laughs> you know you like you satanic, nigga. These hoes took sex and made it satanic, man. They just want to eat ass. If you ever if you ever get a chance, Google the Sukiyana concerts. And watch what and watch how wild black women get when she does the ass eating song. We had the thong song. Ooh, that dress so scandalous. We shaking that in and handling it. See, we had that when we was coming up. Y'all hoes got the ass eating song. Like this shit getting disgusting. But y'all, y'all are fools, man. Y'all are fools, man. Easily fooled. She eat ass. Booty smoothie. Anything. That's what she like. You like eating ass? She yes. eat ass. Real bad. I got a girlfriend. You said real bad. That's crazy. That's all I don't know about eating a nigga ass. And when it comes on to the money, why does your man have to have it? Because I get it. So how much you make then? That's none of your business. I'm a not. Oh my God. That's a broke bitch. That's just a stripper. That's stripper talk. That's stripper talk. Hooker talk. I got the bag talk. You know? Fuck out of here. Cubby Clown with the two piece say, uh, getting my a hole eaten is very relaxing. <laughs> it is a pervert. <laughs> What's wrong with this guy? Get him off the screen. Get him off the screen. Please relax, relax your mind. And let your bitch eat your booty. Face it. Nurse, it is none of your business. So how much you want your man to make as a nurse? He ain't gonna be no nurse. I don't want my man to be no nurse. But you're the nurse. So how much do you want your man to make? He need to be in the streets. Stay down till we come up. He need to be in the streets. Not streets. Streets. This is how stupid these bitches are, man. And I just, I can't stand you hoes. Chap, you always putting the bitch again. You must be gay. You need to try to, you need to try to uplift the sisters. Nigga, if Jesus can't save these hoes, why are you trying? What make you think you greater than Jesus, nigga? If Jesus can't save these hoes, why are you trying? What make you think you greater than Jesus, nigga? If Jesus can't save these hoes, why are you trying? Why are you trying, nigga? If, if, if Jesus can't save these hoes, why are you trying? Why are you trying? What make you think you greater than Jesus, nigga? What make you think you greater than Jesus? What, what make you think you greater than Jesus, nigga? What make you think you greater than Jesus? What make you think you greater than Jesus? Swing the wind makes God! Can't save these hoes. Can't save these hoes. Can't save these hoes, nigga. Can't save these hoes. Can't save these hoes. Can't save these hoes. Can't save these hoes. Why are you trying? If, if, if Jesus can't save these hoes, why are you trying? Why are you trying? What make you think you greater than Jesus, nigga? What make you think? 
What make you think you greater than Jesus, nigga? I'm not saving these bitches when they just want money and clean booty holes. Fuck out of here. You all have to do with anything. That's what she likes. You she like eating ass? Like she yes. eat ass. Real bad. Real? Money in a clean booty hole. Loyalty. Loyalty come first. What's this booty hole have to do with? Money in a clean booty hole. Loyalty. Loyalty come first. Money in a clean booty hole. Loyalty. Loyalty come first. Money in a clean booty hole. Loyalty. Money in a clean booty hole. Loyalty. Loyalty. Money in a clean booty hole. Loyalty. Money in a clean booty hole. Money in a clean booty hole. Money in a clean booty hole. Loyalty. Loyalty come first. Money in a clean booty hole. Loyalty. Loyalty come first. What's this booty hole have to do with anything? Money in a clean booty hole. Loyalty. Loyalty come first. What's this booty hole have to do with anything? Money in a clean booty hole. Loyalty. Loyalty come first. Money in a clean booty hole. Loyalty. Loyalty come first. What's this booty Money in a clean booty hole. Loyalty. Loyalty come first. What's this booty hole? Money in a clean booty hole. Loyalty. Loyalty come first. What's this? Money in a clean booty hole. Loyalty. Loyalty come first. What's this booty hole have to do with anything? That's what she likes. You like eating ass? She eat ass. Real bad. I got a girlfriend, so I don't know about eating a nigga ass. Now when it comes on to the money, I told you, man, like, dog, they are just a joke. <laughs> it's like they are a joke, man. She said real bad. That's what got me. She got me with the real bad. How do you want to eat ass real bad? Like you worse than Melvin, my nigga. God damn. Why does your man have to have it? Because I get it. So how much you make then? That's none of your business. I'm a nurse and it's none of your business. Okay, so this listen to the logic here, man. These bitches. She want money in a clean booty hole. She's comfortable enough to tell you that she's eating ass, but she's uncomfortable with telling you her salary. Get the fuck out of here. You are a pervert. You see this stupid shit? Didn't I tell you? You can get your dick sucked from a bitch before you can, you can get her to cook for you? A woman will literally gargle your balls before she makes you tacos. I'm telling you that now. I've been in that situation. I've asked the bitch to cook for me. She was like, you ain't my man. And I'm like, but you suck my dick though. Look at the priorities of these fools. Perfect. So how much you want your man to make as a nurse? He ain't gonna be no nurse. I don't want my man to be no nurse. But you're the nurse. So how much do you want? Well, she want the power couple. A screech nigga and a nurse. <laughs> want your man to make? He need to be in the streets. Stay down till we come up. You want a hood guy while you're... Yeah, you want to get the mile heart, man. Make some tacos. <laughs> I think I might get some tacos today, man. Hit the cash out for the taco fund, man. Nigga <laughs> gotta eat, man. If you skinny, man. Nigga gotta eat, man. You gotta eat, man. Need some tacos, man. You gotta be good, man. In the medical field? I want a good guy, bad guy, whatever brings the money and make me richer. That's what it is. That shit crazy. That shit crazy. Want some tacos, nigga. But yeah, man. That's all these bitches want. Money and a clean booty hole, nigga. <laughs> so you, you, you niggas like, yeah, the black woman is never gonna get, can't get the foot. Nigga, what? Nigga, what? Are you crazy? How the fuck are you blocked when you're in the chat? What the hell are you talking about? Cubby Clown, you're not blocked. You got an Android phone, that's all. Just get it together. Get rid of that Android phone. This nigga is, am I blocked? Am I blocked? No, nigga, update your software. 
update your software, my nigga. Get you a fucking real phone like a grown man, goddamn. To an iPhone, nigga. Shout out to Miriam with the taco fun. Man, Miriam be sure love. My son, Miriam. With the nine dollars on the cash app for the taco fun. I'm finna go get me some tacos, goddammit. I should make some goddamn tacos in this bitch. Fuck around, not do the show, go to sleep. I make some good ass goddamn tacos, nigga. I make some good ass motherfucking tacos, nigga. Fuck out of here, nigga. Shout out to Shot Town Rich, man. You know what I'm saying? Coming through. Rest in peace, simple to pee, man. One. Two, three. Appreciate that 20 ball. Bro, shit. Am I blocked? Am I blocked? Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Get rid of that Android, man. That's that Android shit. Got to stop watching the pornos. Got to stop watching the pornos on the Android phone. Your shit won't be locked up like it is now, Nick. That's the problem, is, Nick. That's what I'm trying to get you to understand, nigga. He said, tell Quita that my hole is clean. This nigga is disgusting. I don't want to, I don't want to do a poll in the chat and ask you and ask you niggas, have you had your ass ate? Don't make me, don't make me do that, man. No, no, I will ask how many of you niggas in here eat. You be the April Fool to be running around here eating these hoes ass, nigga. Crazy ass motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? But yes, we are in an era right now where bitches want to be hoes on purpose because hoes get attention, nigga. And with the problem with these April Fools ass bitches, they think they don't know that all attention ain't good attention. Attention is just attention. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Covey, hit the super chat. I can't see that, man. You know what I'm saying? If you seriously want me to motherfucking do the poll, hit the <laughs> poll. Put, put $10 in the super chat. We'll do the whole poll. I don't want to waste everybody's time with that shit, but it'd be worth our while if motherfuckers <laughs> make it worth my while. But yes, yes, these bitches want to be hoes on purpose solely because hoes get attention. Hoes is winning. Salute to my nigga Ramil. Salute to my nigga Ty City. Salute to them. Hoes is winning. But hoes is winning because you let them. See, over here, we about making hoes lose. We want to see hoes take losses. That's why I'm not about giving a bitch nothing. You don't deserve no money. You think these hoes deserve money? You think these hoes got should have the ability to name their price on their pussy? Who should be determining a bitch's price of her pussy? A man or a woman? If pussy bad was the way, who should determine the price? Who should determine the price? See, the trick ass nigga is going to allow the bitch to determine the price And I say her pussy ain't worth a damn. I say pussy ain't, these bitches pussy ain't worth a damn. Pierre Jackson say iPhones be, uh, iPhones be laying on their stomach, breathing slow. <laughs> Y'all go, go to Ass Eaters Anonymous. Oh man, and 12 steps out of here. Oh my God. <laughs> call into the show man y'all better stop calling me laying on your stomach man stop trying to seduce me man this is no this is the no diddy show man take that shit to the manuscript y'all want to talk all oh, yeah yeah jeffsy you know the problem is with the black woman no nah, nigga I don't, don't don't talk to me like that this is real nigga shows gunshots organs and niggas cussing this is what we do we talk ignorant that's the only thing I can, I, that's the only thing I can understand. Talk to me in man. Don't talk to me in bitch. Hey, 
Mm-hmm. Niggas be calling my show, got Maxwell and shit playing in the background. What the fuck is wrong with you? Who raised you, nigga? Look, these bitches want to be hoes on purpose. Say, hit that sweet brother Rance. I got you, my nigga. I got you, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? I got you, my nigga. Shout out to bro, man. Hey, COVID goon want us to do the whole poll, so let me do it, man. <laughs> let me put it together, man. Let me put it together. You niggas, y'all, y'all ain't shit. I'm going to tell you that now, man. Some of y'all niggas need to get right with God, man. You know what I'm saying? Will you let a bitch eat your in the Holy Spirit. All right. All right, we put this nasty-ass poll up here. I'm going to have the numbers for y'all by the end of the show. These niggas are nasty, man. Guys are sick, man. You guys are perfect. Pervert are a pervert. Did I tell you that? I think I forgot to tell you that. Shout out to COVID Gold, man. But yes, these bitches want to be hoes on purpose. You know what I'm saying? Ain't shit you niggas can do about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm telling you, they they don't want to be good girls and wait it out. They want to be hoes and get all the attention that comes with being a hoe. But then they don't want the ridicule that comes along with it as well. You know, let's get into this shit, man. Acting like a bop that the niggas that I wanted wanted me back. When I was sitting at home with one body. Hold on, let's go back. Let's go back. It wasn't until I started acting like a bop that the niggas that I wanted wanted me back. When I was sitting at home with one body, literally my body count on one, waiting for a text back, being loyal, like I'll make food for the man, like I'm waiting for you to come home, just text me back, like literally. I was the nigga worst enemy. He don't, he don't like me. He don't want to talk to me. Blah, blah, blah. See, these bitches get burnt out by one nigga that they really like that didn't really like them. And then they get out here and start hoeing. They get out here and start hoeing. And next thing you know, you know what I'm saying? They uh they running their mouth on TikTok. Running their goddamn mouth on TikTok. You know. But again, they think all attention is good attention. And it's not. Shout out to Black Yankees. Say, stop using the my phones, aka per phone. Get your ass. Get your ass out of here, nigga. How dare you disrespect this iPhone, nigga? How dare you, nigga? You know you niggas be walking around with that big ass Bluetooth and that big ass goddamn, that big ass goddamn motherfucking uh, Android phone. So it's a better phone. Nah, nigga. Fuck all that, nigga. iPhone. God damn it. Your motherfucker iPhone, nigga. You know? Uh say I knew uh they was in here feasting <laughs> feces faces. Yeah, we gonna find out. We gonna find out, you know what I'm saying, who who, who these tender niggas is out here is getting their ass ate. We're gonna find out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They, they be, they be watching the show and then they go right after my show go off, they go right to Sukiyana video and shit. Be rubbing their nipples and shit. Man. Man, she look good in the motherfucker. This the queen. Sukiyana probably ate uh, Umar ass. <laughs> she probably ate Dr. Umar ass, man. And they can say, sister, I, 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 I like the way... You 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 eat my ass when I get the cookies. I say I like the way you eat my ass when I get the cookies. I say I like the way you eat my ass when I get the cookies. You motherfuckers be over there, eyes rolling in the back of y'all head and shit, getting y'all ass. Shot <laughs> legs in the air. Toot it, toot it. 
Hey, man, don't let me hear you niggas back out here. Toot it! Toot it! Toot it from the bike! I ain't gonna call you gay, but... Because it's a bitch, but you're almost gay, nigga. You're almost gay, nigga. You're almost gay, nigga. You're you're walking the tightrope, nigga. You're moonwalking on the tightrope of gay, nigga. And I know who you're getting, boy. Looking ass. All right, so the bitch talking about she frustrating niggas and doing all these good things. I was a good girl. Well, I'm going to tell you this, man. Real talk, once a good girl's gone bad, she's gone forever. When a when a when you when a good bitch turn to a hoe, she's wrapped. Ain't no turning her back, man. It's too many perks of being a hoe. It's too many perks of being a hoe, man. They just don't, but the thing that they don't understand is that being a hoe has a shelf life. They think that shit is gonna last forever. It ain't gonna last forever. You cannot compete with the new hoes. That's the thing about it. You will never be. You will never be as valuable as a young bitch. So you better motherfucking find your nigga and lock him down, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Say Dr. Poopmar. You niggas ain't shit, man. You niggas is nasty. I was sitting at home with one body, literally my body count on one, waiting for text. That's a lie, but let's go. Back Being loyal, like I'll make food for the man. Like I'm waiting for you to come home. Just text me back, like literally. And this was probably a jail nigga. Bitches tend to go all out for jail niggas. I was the nigga worst enemy. He don't he don't like me. He don't want to talk to me, da, 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 all this. When I was outside, popping out in music videos. But and here's the thing too. A lot of y'all so-called good girls got boring sex. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that shit factors in too. You know, and, we, and y'all factor in too. You know, a lot of y'all bitches pH balance be off and shit like that. You never ask yourself if, See, all y'all think y'all got good coochie. If I ask every woman in this room right now, do you got good pussy, she's going to say yeah. In fact, what I want y'all to do as a project for y'all, go on Facebook today and start asking bitches, do you got good pussy? No, put a post up, say, who got good pussy? Raise your hand. Every bitch that see that post going to say that they got good pussy. You're not going to find one bitch on there that's going to say, my pussy kind of stank sometimes. It it be dry. I'm working on it. I got, you know, I got to get my shit in order. Ain't no bitch going to tell you that. Every bitch got good pussy. Let them talk. That's why they are fools to me. Shout out to my man, Eric, man, EV, man, coming through with the 10-piece on the cash app. I see you, bro. Let's go, man. Videos on the scene every night with all the baddies twerking, showing my body acting crazy, getting drunk. Now the nigga want to blow my phone up. Oh my gosh, like, why don't you ever hit me back up? Like, all this and that. And then they post on Instagram that they want a homebody who stay at home, a girl with less than a thousand followers on Instagram, all this and that. Like, no, you don't. Mind you, I said acting like a bot. Don't actually crash out about these niggas. Like, don't. So she let this shit make her become a hoe. And it's no turning back. Once you become a hoe, you are a hoe forever. Once you become a hoe, you're going to end up a single mother. I'm letting you know that right now. If you're not already a single mother. And if you're a single mother, it's probably because you were a hoe. Y'all don't start to clean up and uh, 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 and clean up your image and how can I say, simmer the fuck down until you have a kid by a nigga that's, uh, that's, that's, uh, until you have a kid out of wedlock. That's when y'all hoes want to become wifey material. You know? That's when you hoes want to be wifey material. It's never in your prime. In your prime, y'all out here shaking your behind. And that's how it goes. That's how it goes. And that's why you bitches are fools. And you, we're going to laugh at you every chance we get. You know, which leads me to another thing that they always talk about. This being a boss bitch shit. You know, every bitch is a boss. You know, 
You know, every bitch is a boss. You know, all this old bullshit. You know, bitch do some taxes. Now, all of a sudden, she's got her own business. You know, bitch do hair. You know, I, I just can't stand a lot of these hoes because they tend to act like what they bring to, to society is something that we can't live without. You bitches do weave and you just think that like we needed you. Like I said, COVID, COVID showed these hoes who's needed. COVID showed you hoes who, who needs you in the world. A lot of you hoes are sitting in the crib because the world didn't need you. You're a fucking fool. You know what I'm saying? And again, any bitch that you see that's talking all that successful shit, always, fam, I'm telling you, man, it's, it's, it's a flawless method. You want to win an argument with them? Just ask them how many abortions you had. For you to get to the to the level that you at right now, where you over here uh, 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 bragging to me, trying to shit on me, how many abortions you had? Because that's the only way a bitch gonna be successful. Because she gonna be fucking. And I'm telling you right now, today's bitches' desires is is they are way hornier than they ever been. Fam, I didn't I didn't been wrestling. With women that's trying to take a condom off, they will. They, I'm talking about you. You won't. You won't realize how strong a woman's strip is until she's trying to take a condom off you and trying to. And she's laughing while doing it. Like that ain't shit funny. They want that raw dick, and they gonna lie to you. Oh, I can't get pregnant. <laughs> yeah, and all of a sudden we just giving birth to baby Jesus and shit, right? We, it's a miracle. Yeah, all right. Perfect all day. Perfect. These bitches will these bitches will wrestle with you, nigga. You'll be over here struggling and shit like this, man. This is this is the stories that these hoes gonna tell you about. Ask them bitches though how many abortions they had. Oh, she's a lawyer. How many abortions you had? Oh, she's a doctor. How many abortions you had? Oh, you're a dentist. How many abortions you had? Oh, you're working on your master's. How many abortions you had? Oh, you make $100,000 a year. How many abortions you had? You know what I'm saying? That's what you do. You know, oh, I'm an Instagram model. This is how many abortions you had. Them the questions I'm asking. I ain't asking how many bodies you had, how many bodies you killed. How many bodies you banged, nigga? That's what we want to know. Because that's the only way these bitches get successful. She's probably pregnant about four times in college. Four or five, at least. At the minimum. By the time she had her first bastard baby, she didn't had three, four abortions beforehand. Come on now. <laughs> oh yeah, that's another one. I'm allergic to latex. Yeah, all right, yeah. But yeah, all boss bitches denounce babies too. Boss, these boss bitches don't want no babies. That's why I say, man. You got to really evaluate these bitches and it's easy to evaluate these bitches because they got social media and they run their goddamn dick sucker. Let's go. Niggas babies and ruin your lives. I don't do that. I don't. Boom. Right there. Boom. She don't keep niggas babies. She don't keep niggas babies. Let's go. Ladies, you keep niggas babies and ruin your lives. I don't do that. I don't. I don't want no children. See, that's what you hoes don't understand. I see right here. So you bumping on this bitch. You see how this bitch talking. This is recreational use. It's like, oh, I'm going to try to convince her to be with a family. With. Nigga, you setting yourself up for failure. Have a good time with this bitch. It, you know, she got that transgenital uh, energy. But, you know, some of you niggas like that. You, 
You know, it's a lot of ass eating niggas in the room. Let me see. Okay, let me see how many of you niggas. 252 votes. You know, you ass eaters. <laughs> All right, we're going to find out, nigga. Let me find out, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Let me find out. 22% of y'all niggas say, yeah, eat my ass. Got 79% real niggas in here. Okay, cool, man. Y'all niggas had me worried, man. You niggas had me worried. I live a life. I can do whatever I want. I live in two states. Jap, why are you trying to be the ass eating police? Pervert, you, 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 you are a pervert. That's what they gonna say next? That's what's gonna be the next video? What are we doing, man? <laughs> what are we doing, man? Please leave me alone. I'm not in the manosphere anymore. It's a great feeling. It's a great feeling, man. I'm on, a, I'm on an island alone, man. Just a real nigga island, man. Fuck this shit. It's at one time, three days, three days. At one time, I live a life. I don't want some kids. I don't want that. I don't want that. I want a nigga that likes me for me. I don't want to keep you because I had a baby with you. I want you to like. Me. I told you these bitches don't love these kids. They don't want. They never wanted them. Because the kids block their dreams. They resent these kids because the kids get in the way of their whole destiny. Me for me. I want you to love me for me. I don't want you to play with me because I want to play with you. When a nigga plays with me, I play with him back. So let's just enjoy our lives together. Let me run through a bag. When you ready to let me. Let me run through the bag. See, this is what I'm telling you. This is why y'all bitches are fools. And then this bitch going to end up being 50 something and want, want a family and can't have one. And don't nobody want to have one with her ass, regardless of the BBL and the fake teeth. Go, we can let each other go. When you a bad bitch, that's what you do. When you a sad bitch, you keep having babies by these niggas. You would just be pathetic. Y'all keep tossing kids around like it's fun. I agree with her. I agree with her to a degree on that. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, again, I just know the nature of these bitches. They talk that shit now, but... When they titty starts sagging and they uh booty get wrinkled, they wouldn't wish they had kids. They they just like that. They think that they're men. They're not on the same clock as men. We are on a different clock. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing like getting my son. What is with you niggas, man? <laughs> what is with you moist ass niggas in my motherfucking chat, man? Man, I'm a man. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta play y'all moist national anthem, man. Y'all I feel the rain. 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 It's raining all over me. I'm moist. I'm moist. Call and response, I said I'm moist. I'm moist. Good God, I'm moist. I'm moist. Yes, I am. Rain all over me. I'm saturated. I'm saturated. I'm saturated. I'm saturated. I'm saturated. I'm saturated. Yes, I am. I'm saturated. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I'm jam. I'm jam. I'm jam. I'm jam. Lord, I'm jam. I'm jam. Oh Lord, I'm jam. I'm jam. I'm even wet. Wet. Wet all over for you, Lord. Wet. Lord, I'm wet. Wet. Will you? Open the floodgates. Hey! Open the flood. You niggas are wet, damp, moist. <laughs> About to pee on yourself. Shout out to Math Master, man. I'm about to pee on y'all self, man. That nigga's crazy, man. That nigga's crazy. But yeah, man. You bitches don't love these kids, man. These kids in the way, nigga. Like, I'm never keeping no baby for nine months. For what? 
I don't have to do that. My pussy too good to have the baby in my stomach. For See, didn't I tell you? Every one of these bitches think they pussy too good like they actually felt it. You know? Like, let a real nigga feel that pussy. Let a real nigga feel that pussy. He say, I stayed uh, the night at P. Diddy. <laughs> this nigga's stupid, man. You niggas are, you niggas are, lo you niggas are lunatics. You niggas are lunatics. This niggas, he went to Star Island. He went in the back room. You niggas is nasty, bro. Something wrong with you. Almost gay, nigga. Uh, who is a Poopter Vandross? This nigga stupid. Y'all niggas crazy, man. Something wrong with y'all, man. Y'all need help, man. I need to go to church, man. You ain't gonna go to church, man. These bitches, my pussy too good. All these bitches think they pussy good. And don't got no man. Like, it's fun. Like, I'm never keeping no baby for nine months. For what? I don't have to do that. My pussy too good to have the baby in my stomach for nine months for a nigga that's outside. Goodbye. <laughs> these bitches are fools, man. As I said, they're, they're laughable. They think they're actually kicking game and kicking advice. Like, I'm just, we all we doing is just watching, like, yep, this is why we're going to treat y'all like shit going forward. This is why we're going to treat y'all like shit going forward. You know what I'm saying? And this is the crazy thing. We got the, I swear to God, I have not seen it online yet. I'm talking about on social media where. There are other races of fat bitches with the confidence and slut swag of a bad black bitch, a bad bitch. That's, you know what I'm saying? A black bitch. Our, our fat women are just, they, they think that they are just the, the baddest things in the world, but partial to blame for this is the thirsty nigga who likes anything that jiggles because we are the most uh, uh, obese accepting race of men on earth. We actually, by us fucking these fat bitches have been instilled so much uh, uh, confidence we have made the fat bitch overly confident, man. You know what I'm saying? And we got some raunchy fat bitches that be online. Like, I haven't seen the raunchy white bitch that talks nasty about these motherfuckers trying to get at her online. Like, I don't see that. I see the angry fat white woman as a feminist, but I don't see the 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 dirty mouth fat white woman. The dirty mouth fat Chinese woman. I don't I don't see that. I see the dirty mouth black woman talking about all the dick she get. And I don't I, I don't think she's lying. That's what's so crazy about it. I don't think she's lying. Because I know how desperate niggas are. Most of these niggas, baby moms are big bitches and they were big bitches when they met them. Our big, we have a big bitch market in the black community. Like big bitches have no fear of not ever getting a man. They are out here getting nasty with niggas because niggas is fucking with them, man. Niggas is out here really, really giving fat bitches attention. And to me, I always say fat bitches don't count. Who ain't been a dick police job? That's what they gonna say, right? We like to fuck the big bitch. That's what we do. Who are you? I'm like, all right, bro. Them big ass husky ass bitches, nigga. You know, truly me, I like a bitch that I can pick up a flight of stairs. You know, <laughs> but hey, to each its own. It, it, it could be worse. It could be worse. You niggas could be in the back of Diddy's room. Spooning with niggas. So I give you that. You know, even the tricks. I mean, at least it's women. At least it's women, man. I'll give you that. 
you know. Not saying I, you know, I honor it and, you know, I'm saying I'm respecting it like that, but I respect it more than you going in the back room with Diddy. <clears throat> you know, I respect that more. Like I said, well, at least he with a woman, man. I give you that, man. At least he with a woman. It could be worse. It could be worse. You could be in the back room with Diddy. Take that, take that, take that, take that. Take that. <laughs> Shout out to Big Knox. He say, even Fanny Willis risking it all for Raw D and Cheap Liquor. Yes! She almost lost her career for Dick. This is, that, this is why black women are fools. And I just find it laughable. You know, I'm going to tell you something. My entertainment for the day is generally Fox News and black women on the timeline. And Animal Planet, which is the closest thing to black women on the timeline. <laughs> Seriously. Oh my God. I said seriously, and Siri, Siri wanna pop her ass up on the screen. Shout out to the iPhone. Yeah, shout out to Week Weezo, April Fool's Day. You already know, nigga. It didn't take April to make the black woman a fool. Pervert. You are a pervert. She's been a fool all her life. You know? A fucking fool, nigga. But yeah, we got the confident fat chicks, man. I've never seen no other race. I'm, if y'all can show me the sector where there's uh, the confident, fat uh, white women talking about they still sexy and they got it and, uh, listen, and they juggling all these dudes. Show me, please. I, all I see is white women, white women as big as hell online about to cry. They about to break down into tears. You know? Shit crazy. My first was a 13. I'm going to go because you ain't and your first was a third. These hoes on a podcast. Fat bitches on a podcast. Like I told you, I always told you, fat bitches don't count, man. They words just don't count to me, man. But for some reason, they count to the world. I don't get it, man. I don't know why, why people take fat bitches serious. This bitch talking about her first, her first. Listen to this slut ass bitch. This be the same bitch that be telling you, you ain't shit. You don't got a degree. You know, you're immature. Where's your family? You know what I'm saying? Bitch, shut up, bitch. Oh, oh, Would what? you take a 13 inch? <laughs> My first was a 13. I'm gonna go because you niggas is sticking 13 inch of dick in these big old bitches. That's retarded. Hey, and yo, first was a 13. Wait, now we gotta ask. Half when, 14. When, did, when did you have sex with the first? High school. On the steps. See, black women lose their virginity very early. I told you, man, we all, even everybody in the black community, we started fucking very young. I started fucking at 13. We was fucking, we was fucking very young. You know, I probably weighed like 112 pounds. Fucking hoes. You know what I'm saying? Hoes was fucking in our hood. Damn, you got 13 inches. You got 13 oh, inches that. in a public school. I know, it's so nice. Crazy. You know how nasty it is on it's a public man. floor? This bitch is fucking in a public school. That's how ratchet our bitches are. Y'all are fools. And then this would be the same motherfucker want to speak on Black Lives Matter or some shit like that. Very dishygenic. Very unhygienic, you nasty hey, bitch. Did, didn't I tell you that they say that they, that, that they know that they un hot They have bad hygiene. Y'all said she was fucking the janitor on the high school steps. That's crazy. With bad, with bad pussy hygiene. Damn, you got 13 inches. You got 13 of inches steps. in a public school. I know it's so nasty. Crazy. You know how nasty it is on it's a man, public school. It's very dishygenic. Very right. unhygienic, now you nasty getting, bitch. Hey, I'm getting it now. I'm... That's crazy. 
That's crazy. That's crazy, nigga. Yeah, she the school cameras probably got her ass on tape. You know what I'm saying? School cameras probably got her ass on tape. You know? Nuts, man. It's nuts. But like I say, man, we got the we got the overly confident fat bitches that's running around here thinking they got it, wearing shit that they don't have no business wearing because motherfuckers have assured them that they are still valuable. And I don't buy it. I, I just don't buy it. And not only are we got fat sluts, we got violent bitches and 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 just Flat out disrespectful women. These bitches are foolish, man. You know what I'm saying? Then they get mad when a nigga want to go upside their head. He say, "Stop smashing these uh, big slime balls and man, protect your ass from these perverts." Pervert. Shout out to I Bash with the ten dollar holler. Appreciate that, fam. But yeah, man, nothing says I don't have class like the black woman. You know what I'm saying? And she will de de degrade you. She will disrespect you. You know what I'm saying? Like, like no, no, no other. She will make you have to put hands on her. That's what she be doing. You see this shit? That's what she be doing. Holding the baby, spitting on the neck. That's what she be doing. That's what she be doing. <laughs> she mad and shit. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. And I've been through this before, too. Bitches be, they, they, when they can't hit you, they'll spit on you. I didn't have it spit on me, too. They, they, because they be trying to provoke you to put your hands on them so they can just call the police. Man, I'm telling you, man. You bitches are fucking fools, man. She'll be the mayor of Dalton. This nigga's crazy. Shout out to EV. It's crazy. All bad. All bad. All bad. See? Had to cut that camera off when he when he clocked her goofy ass. <laughs> that's why I don't that's why I don't uh frown up or be like, man, bro, who you put your hands on it? Because I've been in them positions where bitches will test you. And they be begging you to put your, put your fucking hands on them. You know what I'm saying? And you might have to oblige. You know what I'm saying? You might have to oblige. Because these bitches are running around here like they have immunity in our community. We letting them get away with too goddamn much. You know what I'm saying? Some of these hoes might have to get that motherfucking, uh, you know, that chastisement, nigga. Might get that chastisement, nigga. You know? But yeah, man, it, it's, it's, it's crazy. These bitches are fools. Shout out to uh, Inside Looking Out for the collection play with the $2 on the cash app. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate that, fam. Much love. Much love. And a lot of these bitches are fools. They are ungrateful. They say they want to get married. But then when it's a nigga stupid enough to actually marry y'all ass, y'all put all these conditions on it and shit like that and fuck it up. And then, you know what I'm saying? Y'all the hoes running around here. We got the only batch of bitches to run around here who brag about how many times that they were proposed to and engaged. But not how many times they actually been married. They think that, that that's a status symbol. They think that that's a flex. They worse than the passport niggas. Perfect. All a pervert. Flexing stupid shit. You know what I'm saying? How do you flex because a nigga asked to marry you and you said no? 
And the, the, what's foolish about it is they tell all these niggas no, and then these niggas move on and they start saying these niggas actually doing, doing you know, living a good life with a wholesome uh, with a with a wholesome wife. They get all mad. And they want they want to you know try to either double back, you know what I'm saying, or or regret the decision. But see, this is when a bitch got leverage. Bitches think that they gonna look good forever. Y'all age terribly. Shout out to Colin, man. You know what I'm saying? He said uh, for the double down on my super chat. Appreciate you, Colin, with the five dollar holler on the on the cash app as well. I'm definitely getting some tacos today, nigga. It's going down, nigga. It's going down, nigga. Hard shell tacos, nigga. Let's go, nigga. <laughs> But these bitches don't appreciate a good man. They don't appreciate that shit. You know what I'm saying? So when they get one, they shit on them. And then that nigga does, you know, he gonna find some. I tell niggas, man, don't trip, man. It's too many hoes out here, and they all they they all fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Terrence, man, with the five dollar holler on the uh, cash app. You know what I'm saying? But they all fucked up. You know what I'm saying? You just got to pick your poison, man. Pick your poison, man. But these bitches don't appreciate shit, man. That's why I tell y'all niggas, don't give them shit. This is what this is one of the main reasons why I always say women should propose to men. Because then we'll know you serious. How dare you offer nothing and I ask you, I ask you to marry me. When I'm the goddamn prize, I'm the nigga gonna have to do all the goddamn work. Love ain't words. Love is work. Men do the work. Men do love. Women say love. Always remember that. Always remember that. Don't let nobody tell you nothing different. Women say love. Men do love. Love is action. All that other shit is how she's feeling today. You know what I'm saying? Men have duty. These bitches don't be talking about shit. They don't do shit. Worth, worth a damn. You got to take care of you and them. So fuck all that, man. But yeah, man, these bitches don't appreciate shit. I mean, let me show y'all something, world. I just literally don't propose. I ain't going to record you. Because that's up. Like, I just propose. To my after girl, so yeah, proposed to her after ten years, y'all. You know what I'm saying? You know, bitches always downplay everything. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, all right, bitch. That's what I say. They say they want to get married, and when they're staring them in their face, this is how they act. This is why y'all like get married. This y'all are fools. I'm. We just laughing. Y'all gonna die alone. Yeah, we've been that's together for 10 years, years and I just proposed years. to her and she just sitting here and just you looking at the ring. You just sitting here you looking at it. You ain't putting no thought into it. You ain't taking me out to dinner or nothing. Ain't putting no thought into it. Bitch, I got a thousand something. I got thousands in this ring. That's thought. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck? You see, these hoes are living in a fantasy world where everything is a Tyler Perry movie. Everything is, you know, uh, a, a, a romantic comedy. No. You are getting married to Tyrone who worked at the post office. Bitch, you are a CNA. This is the real goddamn world. You know what I'm saying? You should have parked that goddamn car and been happy. But he's a stupid nigga if he keeps pursuing this bitch. No type of little setup, bro. Why do it? But, but, flowers, it, nothing. Just this but ring. God, but Crystal, and then after ten years, Crystal, no. you bitches want this magic. Ain't no magic in your ass, bitch. I've been with you ten years. Let's get married and shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. You know, that's crazy. Who said you wanted to be want married? It. I don't want it. I went out and yeah, bought this like ring. five years ago. I don't want that shit. Now take you another five years to propose to me. No, I don't want What it. you mean? So 10 years, look, 10 years to me, that, 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 that tells me if I want to spend the rest of my life with you. It don't take you 10 years. People chew cozy. 
man, I will dump that bitch today. I'll be in the club tonight, nigga. If you did this with a white woman, she would be she would be crying, going crazy. Any other race of woman to be crying and going crazy. Not this entitled black woman. People with true years. colors don't be coming. Like, I got to see your true colors. It do take people 10 years. Everybody not the same. Like, I don't get it. What you talking about? Like, so you really, so you really don't want to, you don't, you don't want to marry me. So you finna break up with me because I got you a ring 10 years later? What type of thought is this? We in the car. What you mean we in the car? Like, it don't matter where you get proposed to as long as you get proposed to. See, these bitches don't appreciate shit. That's why I tell y'all, don't give them shit. Don't give them a goddamn thing, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Just treat them how they want to be treated. They want to be slutted out, man. We let them. We let them. We not, we not here to stop her from being... We're going to let a bitch be the, the biggest slut. You know what I'm saying? Be, be the slut you always wanted to be. Don't let, don't let Minister Jap stop you. Don't let the church get in the way. You know? But yes, they are... They are the walking, talking, breathing, living, twerking definition of an April Fool. They are walking April Fool's joke every time I see them. You like, oh, you hate black women. They hate themselves. They are fools. Fools, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And they always out here fucking and trying to justify they they have whole justification skills. The same way tricks got trick justification. The way tricks say it ain't tricking if you got it though. Um, you know, stop dick policing. Uh, what else they say? They say uh 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 uh, uh you gonna pay either way. You know what I'm saying? Uh uh um. Something, something ain't no robbery. What the fuck they say? I forgot. It's it's a it's a bunch of trick talking points. They all say the same thing. Some some ain't no robbery. What the fuck is that? You already paying? Yeah, like what's the other one? Some ain't no robbery. I forgot what the fuck that is. You know what I'm saying? They all they all the same way. Hoes got their same talking points. And now hoes out here. Not counting bodies. Yeah, fair exchange. Yeah, fair, fair exchange ain't no robbery. Like, dog, shut your trick ass. Persian, Persian, Persian. I mean, they all say the same thing. They might as well just, they might as well get a soundboard and just, put, you know what I'm saying, or copy and paste that shit in my uh in my comments every time I roast y'all at. It's the same shit y'all say every fucking time, nigga. And I've already cooked you. But yeah, like these bitches got whole justification skills. You know what I'm saying? I was young. You know what I'm saying? It takes two. You know what I'm saying? All that bullshit, man. They got the same shit. I'm just being liberated. Men do it too. You don't say nothing when men do it. You know, they got all the same, they got all the same talking points, man. But this was an interesting one because now bitches are not claiming bodies. Yeah, you was like the third person on told. Hold if, on, explain that. If you're f***ing with a condom, that does not count as a, a body. So now they saying that if you fucking with a condom, it don't count. So you, so you I keep accept telling y'all, you is like the third person on told. Hold if, on, explain that. If you're fucking with a condom, that does not count as a, a body. It does not. So you are hundred niggas. With and a it's condom. not gonna count. This is crazy. And she believes this in her head. The same way. Um, that one chick, uh, what's dude name? Uh, John Smith from the NBA. 
married that porn star. She said none of them porn star uh uh sessions count because it was acting. She only counting the people that she messed with in real life. That's the type of shit bitches do. They move the goalposts. Exactly. Like, it's not gonna count. Yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> that's not gonna that's count. Different. Wait, so that means so bitches are justifying being hoes. You know what I'm saying? And, and not having a bunch of bodies because they use rubbers. That's why I told you. These hoes don't like rubbers either, man. But this is this is the type of shit. This is what makes our bitches idiots. And this is what makes them fools. In my eyes, man. You know what I'm saying? And they and they and they just keep keep on fucking. You know, and they keep going online talking about it. We have a batch of disgusting ass women that are fucking fools. And, and, and the thing is, the fools are at the forefront. The real bitches are in hiding. The fools are in the forefront. Most of y'all are fools. And I and you would be a fool to be fooled by a fool. That's the most foolish thing any of you niggas could do. Message to the trick community. How are you going to let a woman... We already are discovering right now that women are a walking, talking example of a fool. And you're going to let a fool fool you out of your paper. You fucking... <laughs> But they stay fucking it with all these bodies, man. We, our women, man. And I, that's why I tell y'all, y'all better not be eating these bitches pussy, man. It's the worst thing you could do, man. The worst thing you could be doing. It's, it's not 2000. It's over 2000 now. Except How old are Her body count, nigga. Her body count is, it's not 2000. It's over 2000 now. Except How old are you? you? I'm 27. What? So She's 27 with over 2000 bodies, nigga. Stop it. Since that interview, I've had sex with more people. <laughs> and she thinks this is funny, but any of you niggas fucking a bitch that look like this, you're almost gay. Pervert, you are a pervert. You belong, you belong in the back room at the Diddy all white party if you're messing with women that look like this. Stop dick policing. Okay, bruh. I'm out of your way. I'm just letting you know, when you do this, this is the closest thing to a man. I'm going to look at you like you like men. I'm going to assume that you like men. Oh my God. <laughs> what are your rates? Okay, so this is my thing, right? Okay. I'm a... Oh, she's charging you trick ass niggas. Oh, wow. Dancer first. Okay. So let's start there. So my main occupation, the main way I get money is being a stripper. Okay. I go to work. People throw dollar bills at my naked body. Okay. So now it's like an extracurricular activity. It's not something I do. Notice that Tasha K will check any motherfucking bra in the world, but let these hoes come on here and go unchecked. Check niggas. Go in on niggas. Oh, this, this, this nigga. And here you got the, the, the best example of the worst type of woman in the world. And she goes unchecked. Do every day. It's not something I wake up like, hey, I need to find somebody to pay me to have sex. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It's really like, okay, it might be a day where, okay, some nigga, he got 3000 he throwing me money, whatever, whatever, and he's just like, yo, I want to see you after the club, what mm -hmm. I got to do, or how much more you want, and I'm going to give him a price, and if the price is right, I just might. It, it's not like... Look at you trick-ass nigga, y'all mouth-watering right now. Perfect. You are a perfect. Like, uh... Or I have a price and a set. It, 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 so it's not like it comes natural, like you said. It just comes natural. Okay. It's never like planned. It's not set. Sometimes I charge more. Sometimes I charge less, depending who the guy is, what he look like, how much money I think he got, how much money I even need. It's sometimes where. I, I See y'all. Y'all have created this culture. Tricks have created this culture, and they're mad that I'm mad at it. <laughs> You're not going to convince me to go along with you niggas, man. I am not with you niggas.
You know, I am not, I am not a supporter of you niggas. You niggas can coexist, whatever, nigga. I ain't in your way. But don't don't think you're gonna get my stamp of approval and oh, and don't think you're gonna convince me. That's the fucking last thing that'll, that'll ever happen. Be like, oh, I see, I see your point. <laughs> now I understand. After you explained it in an eight-hour stream, y'all, I now understand the trick, man. Get the fuck out of here. Shut the fuck up. They can say they bet she eat ass. I do, she look like she eat ass. She like she eat ass for breakfast. She's like, she like, oh, what's for breakfast? Ass. Pervert, you are a pervert. And ain't that crazy? She get to she get to determine the value of herself. Trick niggas did that shit. They created that mindset. They created that confidence. Trick niggas did it, man. Yep, you niggas. But yes, these hoes are so delusional too, man. They just fools. All these kids, and they think that they're gonna get them, man. You're not doing dick shit, but some dick. Just take care of them fucking kids. It's over. Dreams are over, bitch. Bitch, your dreams are over. Stop dreaming. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. You don't get the ability to dream. Five fucking kids. Shut the fuck up. You can't dream with five kids. The fuck is wrong with you? Kendra G show is like, you know what I'm saying, the make a wish foundation for braggity hoes. None of you, ain't nobody accepting you, bitches. Got here. Hi. Five kids. All about the same man? No. This bitch got five kids, nigga. Look at y'all. Like, man, she likes kids. G. What, what's her IG? What's her IG? Look at ass niggas, man. That bitch in the crib cooking oodles and noodles. A pot of oodles and noodles for them goddamn kids. How many kids? Five. Five kids. All about the same man? No. How many men? <laughs> Five kids. Not by the same men. Let's see how many men. Um, four. Four different. Four niggas. Nutted in this bitch. And our still stuck with this bitch and she's out here still trying to get a man how many kids five five kids all about the same man no how many men um four four different why are these, why are these questions so hard for you to answer they're not so hard Whoa, whoa. See, Kendra G they just turned into Kevin Samuels, man. Now she want to go in. Why are these questions so hard for you to ask? Now this bitch trying to turn up on Kendra. Let's see. It's so hard for you to answer. They're not so hard for me to answer at all. Why didn't you settle down with any of your children's dads? You have four. Um, it just, it just, it just. I could just say that it just wasn't the, the timing and their... We just didn't add up together. We didn't add up together, but y'all making babies. You are a fool. You are a fucking fool. If you let a man put babies in you and not a ring on your finger, you are a fool, 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 fool. There is no excuses. Ain't no nigga that goddamn magnificent the way you need to be a fucking fool. How much money do you make? What's the least? The least? Now she gonna dictate terms? Bitch, you got five kids. You don't get to dictate nothing. Dictate the fucking fix them up. Take care of them babies. Like the least? I mean, because I have my own business. I have my own house. 
Oh my God! What is this bitch selling? Pussy and plates? She got jerk chicken and hoagie sandwiches on a tray. On Instagram, she making cupcakes. Talking about she got a business. House, you know, also it's at least like a hundred thousand. At least a hundred thousand. You want a nigga with a hundred thousand? I had a hundred thousand dollars. I'm not gonna be in the house with you and five kids. I don't give a fuck how you're sucking, how big your ass is, none of that. Bitch, I smash you and I'm gonna dash you. <laughs> You're crazy. You got too many babies. So the baby dads didn't make 100K, but the new guy has to make 100K. So that's why I just, you know, I just feel like I have a, a mind of. Baby daddies ain't have to make that money to nutting you. But now this new nigga has to. This is the foolishness of black women. This is why it's April Fools. You know what I'm saying? Bitches are crazy. Stop it. <laughs> elevation and they weren't on the same page as me and i'm trying to go somewhere in life and if it's not just adding up then i'm not gonna stay i'm not gonna settle <laughs> that shit crazy that shit crazy man she full of shit like now she don't want to settle you got five kids if you find an idiot that's stupid enough to be with you you know what i'm saying you you know what five kids Look like, you know what the stomach of a bitch with five kids like? The stomach of a bitch with five kids like this. Get gone. Get gone. Baby mama, this shot something. That's what the black baby mama fool with five kids coming out the stomach gonna look like. Pregnant for way too long. Too long. I tell the DJ turn it off. Turn That's it what it look like. If she a baby mama. That's what five kids look like coming out of your stomach, nigga. Go ahead. She gon' do that, baby mama. Work. She gon' put it on you. Uh -huh. She gon' do that. Shit look like a vase, like a, like a. I got a vase in my house that look like that, shine like that, man. That shit look crazy, man. That shit look crazy. He didn't got this aunt pregnant. Ooh, that baby mama drop 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 Baby mama when I step out on the floor One month, two month, three month, four Hit the baby mama when I'm stepping through the door Yeah, I'm pregnant, but I got an ill flow Trying to make some money Oh my God, man Why, why is this shit such an embarrassment, man? Why, why is these hoes such an embarrassment, man? It, it, just, it, just, it just kills me, man Your pussy stink Your pussy stink Your pussy stink Your pussy stink it takes the smell away. Your pussy stay. Your pussy stay. Your pussy stay. Shit is crazy. Look at that belly, man. Look at the belly. Hello. Look at the belly. <laughs> my God. Oh, my God. That would be a nightmare. 
if I had a baby by one of you motherfucking hoes. That would be a nightmare. I would probably just go to jail. Fuck it, I'm safer there. God damn, man. I'm just tired of these bitches acting like they the prize, man. They kill me with this shit. Like they just, you just like you just so uh, like you just so uh irreplaceable. Like y'all are expendable at best. Y'all are all y'all are easy as a Sunday morning, but y'all all the same. Like a lot of these hoes just think they are that fucking fine. Y'all are not up. Oh, God, man. And, and they be putting all these demands and just fools. Just fools. You know, they go out and they got all these expectations and niggas got to buy them drinks. You don't got to buy shit. And they still don't be getting niggas. don't be buying them shit. That's the thing. Shout out to them niggas, man. Leaving them bitches on stuff. Get me in this dress and still playing with my time. Meeting you in that dress. You know your coochie still stink. It don't matter. Still got to find out if coochie stink. Imagine a man meeting me in this dress. You're regular as hell. You've got a decent body. I'll give you that. But you're regular as hell. Tone it down. But see, social media allows them to have this inflated ego. Like this bitch is just like Drea or something. Like, no. You have you 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 are very very lukewarm in the face. You know what I'm saying? Straight up, you are very lukewarm in the face. Extremely basic. You know what I'm saying? Basic model cloth seats in the face. You are weak. It's, you're damn near. A, if you were skinny, you would be a fucking. You would be a dud. You would be a dude. Your body is the only thing that's keeping you in the game. Knock it off. If I spray water on you, you are a scary sight. Imagine a man meeting me in this dress and still playing with my time. This man saw me walk in the lounge last night, left his seat to come sit beside me. See, this is what I'm saying. They think that they just all of that. You know? Bitch look like BG in the face. Stop it. Watch me order a hookah and not one but two drinks. Whole time talking about you off begging for a date. And didn't pick up the check. Baby, this was the day. Ain't nobody picking up the check for that face. Be happy. Be happy. You're getting some attention. Because you cannot survive without weave and makeup. Hey, so now you got the cash money taking over for the 99 and the 2000 in the face. <laughs> Like juvenile in the face. Cash money take it over for the nine nine and two thousand. Girl, your woman wouldn't yeah, yeah. Face having ass. One but two drinks. Whole time talking about you off begging for a date. And didn't pick up the check. Baby, this was the date. So no if I put her next to a bad bitch, she gonna look like a man. Knock it off. Tone it down. No, you can't have my number. Cause the only thing that passed the vibe check. What's this dress? <laughs> you Bubba Gump. I gotta find Bubba! Lip having ass! Fried shrimp, coconut shrimp, pi pineapple shrimp, peanut butter shrimp. Like, bitch, get your. <laughs> need a drink to talk to you you know what i'm saying juvenile looking ass god damn I'm telling you man bitch look like the hot boys the hot boys in the face 
the hell is wrong with these hoes, man? Get them out of here. They kill me, man. And then, like, this is a, just, they just fools. They think that they are actually building niggas, and, but they can't keep a nigga. They brag about what they did with niggas, but don't have a nigga. Man up that I've ever been with, baby. All right. When they leave Pause. me, they're in a much better Pause. position than when My they. This is the thing. Every man she's been with leaves her and is in a better position than they were when they when they uh when they had him when when she was with him but they keep but what what you're not understanding is every man leaves you so anything's better than not being with you shout out to Miriam anything's better than not being with you I built every single man up that I've ever been with, baby. All right. When they leave Pause. me, they're in a much better Pause. position than when My they got question. with me, so, and that's a so fact. The very last man you was with, how long was that relationship? Three and a half years. When you met him, was he a millionaire? No. When you left him, was he a millionaire? No. You ain't made nobody. You ain't made shit, bitch. Exactly. Exactly. They talk with all this confidence. So, and that's a so fact. The very last man you was with, how long was that relationship? Three and a half years. When you met him, was he a millionaire? No. When you left him, was he a millionaire? No. You ain't made nobody nothing. A okay. lot of these women talk about what they could do for a man and how good they are. Y'all ain't made nobody Just because nothing. A lot of y'all have an overinflated ego. Yep. Yep. And weak niggas did that shit to them. Their ego is through the roof. They got to be humbled. And that's where we come in, church. We're here to humble. You're not bringing nothing to the table but problems, attitude, and taint, tarnished, and zesty coochie. That nigga must listen to me. He's going crazy. He's going crazy. That nigga's got the Holy Spirit. That nigga's got the Holy Spirit with him. Whoa, shit. Yikes! God, your pussy. Hey, bring the camera, son. Bring the camera. All the young girls who want to make life with pussy, your pussy will perish with you in hell. May your pussy perish with you. May your smooth pussy, creamy pussy, and tight pussy perish with you. It's, it's crazy how inflated their egos are and they think that they actually bring something to us of value. Man, niggas, niggas are niggas are better because they're not with you. Because being with you was a was a was a hindrance. Now they get to explore their full potential in life. They got you out of here. You were a crutch. You were holding niggas back and not holding niggas down. You was holding niggas down, but not holding niggas down. If you know what I mean. And, 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 and make no mistake about it, man. Again, black women are fucking fools. Don't think that these bitches are wise because they telling you the shit that you want to hear. Cause we got a bunch of these grifting ass bitches out here. We got a bunch of grifting hood rats out here, doing a, living the life of a hood rat, but then telling you the shit that you want to hear online that sounds good, but you know what I'm saying the results ain't nobody wiping these motherfuckers. They've already marked themselves as hood rats. We got to talk about that hood rat grifter, like the Tay Tay baby. That's with you. You can have whatever preference you want and whatever you want. Stop coming to me. This girl has got the biggest, dumbest tattoo on her chest. She got tattoos on her face, her neck, all this shit. You know what I'm saying? But she talked that shit that you niggas just be buying, man. You know what I'm saying? And I know what it is. You know, once they, once these, once y'all niggas in the manosphere start putting titties on the movement, the shit just got watered down. Don't include Jap in the manosphere again, please. Thank you. But yeah, that's the, that's what happened. 
Stop hitting me up. Stop asking me on dates. Stop asking me to go out. If you only want to do it, stop. And she, and listen, she is not an ugly woman. She just did ugly shit to her body. She had no guidance. That's why the game is, is essential. That's why bitches could not be in the driver's seat of their own lives. They have got to have men. Because if she had a real nigga with the game, especially the game like me that I'm implementing, she would never have put a bumper sticker on a motherfucking foreign car. This is stupid shit she didn't do. She put big ass tattoos on her face. Her, her fucking tit, her titties are, are, are done. You can suck them if you, you niggas, that shit is atrocious. That dumb ass tattoo she got, that shit is atrocious. Trying to butter me up, stop pretending you like me, stop wasting my time if you only want to do it. I'm not that type of girl. The tattoos and piercings definitely give off the wrong message. Yes, they do. Why are you so wise? Now? See, see, this is the shit. These bitches are fools. Do not believe any of these bitches. You're not going to get any wisdom from these bitches because they are not wise. If they were wise, they would be wives. God damn it. If they were wise, they would be wives. End of story. Nothing else, nothing else, no debate needed. You cannot debate with that shit on your face. There ain't no debate with that shit on your face. And this is, this is another reason why black women are April fools, because they, they scar their bodies up for life and then try to kick knowledge. But get the fuck out of here, man. This shit looks, the shit that she has, if y'all ever get a chance to see her motherfucking page, the stuff that she has on her body is fucking atrocious. And it's unneeded because she's in shape. She looks good. You know what I'm saying? She got her own hair. She really don't need makeup. I've seen the bitch. She's tat. She got a big ass tattoo on her face. This shit is dumb. What about what we are? What we say? A waste of a bitch. That's what we call that a waste of a bitch. We did that show last time. Apparently, please, I'm letting you know now. I'm not the type of person. Yeah, and she top heavy for y'all niggas like titty. You have to court me, just like I have to do stuff to you to prove that I earn you as a man, and I'm the same way. Prove to me you need to earn. She scares people with all that gothic shit. That's that West Coast shit. That's that Starbucks coffee shit. You know the motherfuckers that be in a Starbucks and shit be thinking that they intellectuals and shit. That's that stupid She She had potential. It's over. It's over. Wrap it up. Get you a white guy with a tattoo on his head. Get you a, get you a, get you an Adam 22. An Adam 22. That's where you, that's where your lane is. Right there. Adam 22. Learn this. I was raised by grandparents i was never taught to just throw it back on the first night please stop doing this it's really irritating and i feel like this lustful generation is oh my god this is the grifter shit you don't feel like that you was doing whole shit with them whole ass tattoos man knock it off this is what i'm saying they selling this shit to y'all like they really about that shit they ain't about that shit man you get this motherfucker some she look like she drink like Jameson or some shit, nigga. Some Jack, some Jack or some Jameson. This motherfucker be turned up. Be ready to do a damn porno. Porno! Leaking onto women who don't deserve it. You know what I mean? And it makes us feel like we're being used when all you have to do is just say, hey, I'm just trying to, to beat it down. Listen, man, you got, we are going to, how can I say this? How can I say this? How can I say this? We're going to treat you how we see you. We, as men, are going to treat you how we see you. We do not see you as no delicate flower. You know what I'm saying? 
You might as well go on ahead and get get on the stripper pole now and capitalize off of that because that is where that that's where you already you've already marked your body for that. Get get your 10 years of Instagram uh uh twerking in and uh stripping and bartending before it's too late. Don't try to jump in this in this delicate flower lane and soft girl us to death. I don't believe it. I'm a real nigga. I know I know hoes. I don't believe that shit. But even if I met her and she was kicking this shit, I wouldn't believe it. I'm like, oh, okay. What we drinking? That's all I have to say. What we drinking, man? Cause you talking all this shit, but 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 the way you lived did not. Nah, get out of here. I'd be damned. I'd be damned if I uh if I if I put if I put them scarred up titties in a wedding dress. You're crazy. <laughs> Who's gonna put those scarred up titties in a wedding dress? You're nuts. <laughs> April Fools. You get married, April Fools the hell out of here to women who don't deserve it you know what i mean and it makes us feel like we're being used when all you have to do is just say hey i'm just trying to to beat it down and then the conversation's done and we're never going to talk again be a that's a lie you she give it up see these hoes like to act, get online and act like they pussy don't be activated your pussy gonna be activated stop it knock it off man about it if you have to manipulate women to get into their pants you're not that guy pal you're not that guy. <laughs> that was funny Call it a nigga a pal. You're not that guy, pal. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, Tay Tay baby, man. That's wild, man. She really out here grifted the whole, grifted the shit out of y'all niggas. Oh my God. Y'all believe that shit, huh? I'm like, man, the titties, the titties make it believable, Jeff. You gotta understand, Jeff. The titties make it believable, nigga. I, I can't, the, the titties are like a coloring book. I want to draw on the lines. Like, <laughs> Like, fuck sucking them titties, man. Give me a marker. I want to color these motherfuckers, man. She got so much fucking tattoo. She, she, and they got the thick lines like a coloring book. You can really get, you can really do your thing on the motherfuckers, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she calls like, you're not the guy, pal. <laughs> that was funny, man. That was funny, man. That was funny, man. But it wouldn't be April Fool's if we didn't talk about a bitch named April. April Jones. April Jones, man. This is an example of a beautiful, beautiful woman that's still a fucking thot. That's what I try to tell y'all. You have got, you cannot make these women what you want them to be. You got to accept them for who the fuck they are. They're only impressionable and moldable when they're young. When a bitch is 30 plus, that's the bitch you got. That is the bitch you got. You know? That is her, man. We're going to take a short break before we get into this April shit because we got more in store for you motherfuckers, man. Y'all motherfuckers hit that like button, man. Y'all hit that share button. You know what I'm saying? We, we still here, man. April Fool special, man. It's the April Fool special, nigga. Stop playing with me, nigga. Stop playing with me, nigga. I'm about to turn it up on you motherfucking, uh, on you tricks, man. Let's get at you tricks, man. Yep. Whole selling pussy and you niggas buying it. Let me get out of the way. Don't, don't think the least of that. I got you, man. You can do your thing, man. Buy all the pussy you want, man. Bye, 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 bye. 
I pussy tonight. I'm just go. I'm, I'm just not gonna be with you. Don't, don't think that. Don't think you get our support here. <laughs> These hoes is crazy, man. These hoes is crazy, man. Yeah, man. So it wouldn't be an April Fools if we didn't talk about an April Fool, April Jones. You know what I'm saying? This bitch. You know what I'm saying? Was married to a Marion. Marion was dumb for marrying that bitch. She's a Chicago bitch. You do not fuck with these Chicago bitches for real. They are the devil. The worst bitch, though. These bitches are crazy and they gang bang. It's like getting an LA bitch. They gang bang. You be like, damn, she fat as hell, but the bitch is the blood. You fuck with this bitch, she fat as hell, but the bitch is a gangster. You know, the bitch be with Chief Keith now. She a BD. Chicago bitches are grimy. I'm letting you guys know now. You meet a Chicago bitch, get in, get out. Don't come through with your jewelry on. Leave your jewelry at home. Bring a small wallet with credit card. That's it. You might get carjacked and robbed. <laughs> That's how these bitches play it, man. Chicago bitches is sh ain't shit, man. They are finessers. They got a lot of game. Especially the ones with the good hair. Letting you know now, nigga. Don't believe it. Man, you know, she, 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 she's real good. She's wholesome. She's down there. Oh, these bitches, these bitches play the role in Chicago, nigga. These hoes out here will cook lure you in they sized you up before before you met them they already sized you up nigga they know who you are don't fuck with those chicago bitch nigga they do their research on every nigga before they finesse them that's how they was raised now marion got with this bitch put two kids in his bitch you know what i'm saying and then the bitch went Divorced them, fucked around with a nigga in the same group as him, Lil Fizz. She was fucking with Dr. Dre. She was fucking all the rappers. She was fucking with the gang. Like, dog. Oh, and she knows she's a bad bitch with pussy. See, this is the thing. Now she's with Tay Tay. Tay Diggs. He's the, he's the last of the idiots. He's playing stepdaddy over there, dressing up and putting on her clothes and shit. Y'all dark skinned niggas gotta hold this L for Diddy and Tay Tay. Come on. The bitch, the bitch is not loyal. You know what I'm saying? She will always go to a bigger bag or a bigger chance for her to advance. That's a Chicago bitch for you, man. You know what I'm saying? She's taking she's taking the Lisa Ray route. She's taking the Lisa Ray, uh, uh, the road that Lisa Ray laid. This is Lisa Ray's blueprint. Fucking up a good thing. You know, she'll fuck up her family, and, and she's still a thought. Kids and all that didn't slow it down because this bitch. Contrary to belief, she's still a badass motherfucker. But the kids are just in the way. She still want to be out here home. Let's go. I'm being so mad. Okay. You couldn't even get a celebrity the way y'all want to sit here and talk. Oh, celebrity. See, that's how a Chicago bitch talk, man. That's how I know she's from Chicago. They they move their head like they, the bitches. The bitches is they wow. Yeah, I'm a celebrity because I celebrity and because i became what y'all thought i wasn't going to become oh, yeah. so let me just say that yes i'm a celebrity because of mario this pussy and i have to she knows she knows she's flexing now because she already got him hooked because she got them kids so she's straight kids by him and now little fizz wants to this and because i'm a celebrity and because the gang wants to this and because ace everybody want to fuck that pussy wants to this and because all these guys love this fat. 
Yo, that's how they be looking in the porn for real. No, that's what it is. And 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 she's gay too. <laughs> she's gay too. So don't see. That's what I'm saying. You cannot. You will see this. We be like, man, she's that fine, and you want a wife her, but no, no, nigga, she's gonna destroy your life. You're such an actress. All these men love it. It's so fat and so. Like, so good. Shut up. Like, I mean, the game, I fucked the game, okay? Mm. That nigga, she, she done fucked the game, nigga. She didn't got, she didn't got with the Sue Woo nigga, man. You know what happened to the game? He's right here. He texted me today. Happy Mother's Day. I fucked your pussy. Slurp it again. That's what the game said, okay? Next. <laughs> Yo, that's some, that's, yo, I swear to God, you should just like Because. Yo. She said that's my spirit. That's something she would fucking say. Yeah. Fuck out of here. The game texts me all the time. <laughs> Bitches love him. And that nigga texts me. He loves me. He. See, again, they go online and act a fool. This is April Fool, nigga. This is a mother of two. Talking about all the rappers that she fucks. Respects me. Drew, little fizz, I love you. Happy Mother's Day. I respect you. See, these niggas, I, I would never call and say, I respect you. Get the fuck out of here. Happy Mother's Day. I respect you. Eat a dick. Fucking Shiggy Show. Fucking Nate Robinson. Fucking Paul. Nate Robinson from the Bulls. Nigga. Paul Pierce. Fucking K. Durant. Fucking Kevin Durant. Paul Pierce that got up in that ass. Damn. She probably eat booty too, nigga. Can anybody Shaq Shaquille O'Neal? You know Shaq, you know Shaq gonna smash. Shaq keep keep getting at these hoes. That's one thing you gotta say about Shaq. Shaq keep a bad bitch. Like y'all so mad. Y'all so mad. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, guys. It's okay for people to reach out and just. Yep. And that's what I'm saying. She's a fucking fool. She's a fucking fool. She don't lie. She time stamped her hoeing, like I told y'all. Go to Patreon. Sign up for Patreon. It's only $5. Watch that video about the time stamp on your whole behavior. But yes. That's what these bitches do. They timestamp their whole behavior because they are fools. Again, these bitches live like they live like gangbangers. You know how like gangbangers be like, I never thought I'd be able to go to see 20, 20, 21. I never thought I'd live to see 30. That's how these bitches live. They live like gang members. They never thought that they'd live to see 50 until they end up 50. And they walking around like Carly Red. Getting ran through still, you know. But I want to talk about the top sixteen biggest fools for black women. <laughs> Got to talk about the biggest fools within black women. All right, number one. Let me let me get the let me get the organs going, man. The number one biggest fool with black women are career women. That career woman is one of the biggest fools. She goes into debt getting all these degrees to get a goddamn job that that she loves that won't love her back. You know what I'm saying? Gives all her greatest years to her employer, you know what I'm saying? And then wants to start a family with a nigga and it just never works. And you'll be a fool to deal with one of these career driven ass bitches, you know what I'm saying? Cause all they do is flex and they try to outman a man. You know what I'm saying? That's the biggest foolish thing you could do. Your goal should not to be having a career. Your goal should be to being a housewife. That should be the, the best goal you ever have is being a housewife. Most of y'all career-driven bitches end up being fat, you know what I'm saying, and having health problems and mental problems. 
You know what I'm saying? And y'all, most of y'all are the biggest sluts and the easiest. That's why I tell a lot of you niggas, um, if you go, if you find a career driven woman, don't be with her for real, but still, you know, still date her because she's going to, she's going to smash. The reason why she's going to smash because her schedule is so, is so hectic. By the time when she finally gets some free time, she wants to go all the way out. Number two, boss bitches, fake boss bitches. The fake boss bitches of the game, these bitches run around here with these weak ass businesses, you know what I'm saying? I don't need a man, all that shit, and they never retain a man. They think because they got their ass done, teeth done, and shit like that, it's gonna land them, it'll land them a nigga, but a nigga's not going to stay. You know what I'm saying? Because you still run around here talking this independent boss shit. You know what I'm saying? And most of y'all hoes going to end up dying alone, being single forever. You know what I'm saying? Dating. You know what I'm saying? You run around here with this boss shit like you're a man. You're trying to out men men, and it doesn't work. Men don't want to be with no boss bitch. No real man. You know what I'm saying? Now, we do want a bitch to help out with our vision, but no real man is going to be sitting around here doing a safari, you know what I'm saying, following your vision. You know what I'm saying? Every real nigga is not like Monique's husband. We're not going to be sitting here, you know what I'm saying, cheerleading with our pom-poms like Dr. Boyce Watkins, you know what I'm saying, on all your accomplishments. We give a damn about your boss bitch status. <laughs> Boss bitches always want to tell you, I'm a boss bitch. I can't stand it, yes. Number three, this is one that I cannot stand. These are some of the biggest fools you'll ever see and ever meet. Beautiful fat bitches. Beautiful fat bitches are nothing but fools. That is the dumbest thing in the world. God has blessed you with natural beauty and you go and mess it up by becoming a fucking obese uh, 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 buffet big back. Are you stupid? That is, one of, that is one of the most foolish things you can do. You know how many ugly bitches out here with bad bodies wish they had your face? But yet and still you want to go out here and do the Jill Scott with it? You're a fool. You are a fool. And, and, and everything you're doing is foolish. Every calorie you put in your body is in, in, in every pound you earned it. That was foolish. To think that, oh, set me as I am. and That's foolish. You got natural beauty and you go fuck it up by eating some of the worst shit ever and letting yourself go. That was foolish. And for that, you're able to. Number four of some of the biggest fools you ever meet, women with weave. Women with weave are some of the biggest fools, man. You know what I'm saying? They put, they spend all their money on that goddamn hair that we don't like or care about. You know what I'm saying? All to do that shit for decades, and then next thing you know, they got a Don King hairline. You know what I'm saying? They run around here with alopecia, trying to talk about the uh, 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 the Jada Pinkett shit. You know what I'm saying? The weave shit. No man takes any woman serious with a weave. No man will take any woman serious with a weave. You will always be side chick material and wigs. Don't think you get off because you got a lace front. No. You know what I'm saying? Those are fools. And it comes with a mindset and a mentality. Most women with weave say and do stupid things. <laughs> Number 
Rodrigo. Shout out to Rodrigo, man. Boss bitches become boss witches. I got you. Uh, number five. Bunch of fools. Beautiful women with a bunch of dumbass tattoos. <laughs> Nothing says foolish like that stupid ass tattoo you got of that nigga on your face. You know what I'm saying? Nothing says foolish like all them stupid ass tattoos on your titties. Nothing says foolish like all them stupid ass tattoos on your neck, on your arms, on your hands. You look like a fucking bitch that went to prison. When did you get out? That's my only question. When did you get out? You're a fool. Number six, the whole phasers. What's the whole phasers, Jack? Them them motherfuckers taking that advice from their auntie. Those are the bitches who are stupid enough to take their prime years and hoe it out. And then when they're 35, two kids, and want you to motherfucking be a, be a, a father figure to little Tyrone and look and little uh uh Tamika. You know what I'm saying? They get the ugly truth of the game. That that's not appealing to a real nigga. They don't get the nigga that they want. The nigga that they needed was in their early 20s. That they passed up on. In their whole phase. The whole phases have been taught that you you young girl, you don't need to be getting all tied up. You need to live life. So they think that they can do the whole shit all the way to their 30, but then it ends up spilling over to like 36. Because they try to settle down at 30. Because in the black community, 30 is like the cutoff line of everything. Like, I got to do it before I'm 30. But it don't never happen that way. Then you're trying to get married in your mid-30s, 40s, you're an idiot. You know why? Because you had this whole phase. And your whole phase leaves scars and residue. And your kids are the residue of your bad decision making and your whole phase. Your kids are the residue. Diseases and, and, and bad reputation are the residue of that shit. I ain't lying. Number seven of the biggest fools. Feminists. Any bitch running around here trying to be a feminist. Don't understand it's a stupid ass phase, you know what I'm saying? And you're almost gay. Trying to run around here protesting for, for equality that you drill that you truly don't want. Because if we really give you equality, it's gonna come with equal responsibilities and equal duty, and you do not want that. You just want equal rewards. You don't want to do equal work. This is why you're a fool. Anything that's rewarded has work attached to it. You know? And that's why you're a fucking fool. Number eight, conscious hoes. Most of these conscious hoes are fools. They only came into consciousness from jail niggas and manipulators, sex offenders, and jail niggas. You do not see young chicks getting into consciousness. It's always old baby mama ass bitches that's been hurt. And when the church ain't work, they jump in the motherfucking black consciousness and all that bullshit. 
start burning stage and shit like that. Want to count tarot cards and do all that shit. And once we see that up necklace and that eye of Horus, we know you're a Horus. Okay? We know this. So knock it off. Cut the shenanigans. We're not, we're not having the bullshit. Not on my watch, cuz. These conscious hoes out here want to talk about black awareness, black family, and all this, and they just baby mamas. They just hoes with head wraps. Because all y'all do is, is, is fuck these motherfucking niggas with dreadlocks, these vegan niggas with dreadlocks all day and get passed around the conscious community. You're a fool. Number nine, some of the biggest fools, social media hoes. Social media hoes, man, it's it's evident. No, no black woman is saying anything worth a damn, doing a damn on social media. You are an embarrassment every time you turn on your camera phone. You know what I'm saying? And even you grifters are full of shit. The Melody Kings and the uh the goddamn Tay Tay babies, you these motherfuckers are lying through their goddamn teeth. As soon as they get drunk, they turn into the hoes that they always are. Nigga, stop the bullshit, nigga. We know what's going on. These hoes, these hoes will be twerking, you know what I'm saying? Got only fans, all that shit. They're big ass fools. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. You think you're gonna get some knowledge from a fucking idiot? You're you're an idiot. All these bitches do online is twerk, you know what I'm saying, and make lasagna, you know what I'm saying, and do bad comedy. Do cringe-worthy-ass comedy or grift uh, 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 red pill content. Get the fuck out of here. It does not fly with the church. Hashtag TBAS. <laughs> Number 10. Are the biggest fools out here? Section eight hoes. Section eight hoes swear that they bosses. I got a crib, three bed. Shut your ass up. These welfare hoes are fucking fools. You the ones that broke up the family. You chose to check over the man. You know what I'm saying? And now you want to complain. You know, not messing with none of you poor ass bitches. You know what I'm saying? You know, might might have to motherfucking skeet you and, and, and leave you. But other than that, you know what I'm saying? You're a fool. Because being a fool is what got you in that situation. You had to have kids out of wedlock to even get in that predicament to even get Section 8. So for that, you are a goddamn fool. <laughs> Number 11, Junkie Hoes. These are the hoes that want to smoke loud online all day, just smoking and drinking and shit like that. These bitches are fools. You know what I'm saying? That's why they pussy stay. Any bitch that smoke weed, pussy stay. Any bitch that drink brown liquor, pussy stay. These hoes be popping pills. Bitches be looking good. And then next thing you know, you bump into her. Now her lips are all purple, her gums are all black, and she's light skinned. <laughs> Don't fuck with no junkie hoes. They are fucking fools. You know what I'm saying? And they'll fuck around and get your ass locked up fucking with their crazy asses, man. Number 12. Passport hoes. I'm going to tell you why they some goddamn fools. Because these bitches think that they're going to go overseas and a nigga's going to take a black bitch from Chicago, from Houston, from Atlanta seriously and want to wife them. They, they go out of town and they just as they just as wild as the passport bros throwing their pussy around. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the goddamn day, they think that some motherfucking Arike is gonna sweep them off their goddamn feet and wanna marry them. Don't nobody take y'all ass serious. In fact, y'all reputation precedes you. Motherfuckers, everybody heard about y'all reputation. So when they come over there, they know y'all coming out there to get loose, get wild, and y'all easy pussy at best. <laughs> You 
can't leave America and think that you're gonna go out of the country and go get you a motherfucking husband. Them go and if you do, Ashy Foot got uh listen, Ashy Foot will put you together. Shout out to my Africans and my Nigerians who put foot to ass on y'all. <laughs> Number 13 of the biggest fools. High expectation having asshole. You hoes got all these expectations for niggas. Now, you ain't have high expectations for the niggas that came before. And a lot of y'all expectations are unrealistic for who you are. You don't deserve none of this shit that you requested. You don't deserve none of the shit you are requested. You are living in a dream world. You are still you are out here waiting for this man of your dreams when you need to wake the fuck up. You got all these high expectations and you're not worth a damn. That's why you're a fool. You really you you took your you take your bum ass on Kendra G show and and fire out all these requests that you have for a man when you live in a in a one bedroom apartment with three kids. You know what I'm saying? And you're five foot two and two hundred and thirty pounds. Hang yourself. <laughs> Number fourteen, old hoes. We got a bunch of old hoes that still think they got it, still don't want to just be their age. They are forever 21. Shout out to Rolo Tomasi for that one. Um, but they still want to live like they're in their 20s when the bitch is damn near 40 or if that already. We got the only batch of idiots that run around here partying with their daughters and their daughter's friends. Because they didn't got themselves a little BBL. Our old hoes are foolish. That's why I say it's no, why are we marrying old ass women? You can't tell them nothing. They don't want to learn nothing. They think they know everything. And they basically sabotage all relationships. You know what I'm saying? Don't nobody, there's no magic in old hoes, but let them tell it. They think that they're magical. They think that they, they bring a they think a ray, they think they bring a ray of light to a nigga's life. No. I'm sorry. I'm here to let you know. As a man, you do not bring a ray of sunshine to any nigga's life, being an old bitch. Number 15. Bitches with fake artificial beauty. Anytime you see a woman who take their kids' college fund, their kids' future to go put it in their ass cheeks so they can have a popping Instagram is a fucking fool. You know what I'm saying? Any bitch that go get her titties and ass done before she get her teeth done is a fucking fool. You know what I'm saying? Most of these bitches, y'all not beautiful no more because you did all the be- the 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 mutilation to yourself. You run around here with these, the, the, all this makeup on. You look like a fool. You can't even hug a nigga. Like, I got on a white shirt. You couldn't even hug me. I wouldn't even let you hug me. You got all that shit on. You look like a fucking clown. You know? All this shit you think is beauty enhances. We don't like that shit. We tell you we don't like that shit, but you try to tell us that we do. We just tolerate your shit. And last but not least of the biggest fools of them all. Single mothers. (laughs) 
Single mothers are the biggest fools you ever meet. You know, what woman permanently attaches herself to a nigga she's not married to through baby? What what kind of woman brings child into world with no plan? A fool. No plan. As if this is a like this is a pet. This is a whole human being you're trying to bring into the world, and you don't even have the 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 knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to just at least plan this shit out. You know, you all are fools because you signed up for the suffering. That's why I don't feel sorry. If you're suffering, it's self-induced. You did it to yourself. You said, I want to have a baby with a man who didn't want to marry me. You are a fool doing foolish things. This is why you're in poverty. This is why you're set back. This is why you're miserable. Because you decided to be a single mother and take the hard route in life. And you expect us to feel sorry for you as if we helped you make this baby. You do know you were in a bedroom with a nigga and enjoyed every stroke of making the child. So the community, the family, the government should not be having to help you. Because they didn't help you in that bedroom, bitch. I keep it real with y'all. I don't sugarcoat. I don't play no games with y'all niggas. I let this shit marinate. Ether, let your soul burn. Pervert, you are a pervert. We're going to take calls, you ass eaters. Pervert. Numbers on the screen, you ass eaters. Pervert. April Fools, nigga. What y'all want to do? What we gonna do, April Fools ass niggas? The numbers at the bottom of the screen, man. Five six three nine 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 three six four one. I know a lot of y'all niggas be scared of me. Y'all be real pussy fat. Y'all be scared to call in, but. I understand your mama raised you. I'm gonna get a chance to set up, let y'all go ahead and call in. The numbers at the bottom of the screen. Let's get it, man. We bring in the studio this morning one of the gay rights activists, Mr. Should I call you Mr. Sure. Pepe Julian Onzima. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for good morning. Me. Morning to you. Why are you gay? Who says I'm gay? You are gay. You are a transgender. What, 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 what shows that I'm gay? You are a transgender, yes, and you're a gay rights activist and an outspoken um, uh, uh, lesbian, homosexual. How can I describe you? Now, we're looking at the raging debate. Uh, you're a gay rights activist. Why should someone be gay? You're having a girlfriend. Yes. Do you perform the natural obligations? Uh... <laughs> I'm not sexually active right now. So what are By you doing with this lady? By choice. By choice. Yeah. I've just not, uh, I've chosen not to engage. Doesn't that make you gay? What do you mean doesn't that make me gay? I am, I am male and attracted to a female. So who is gay? 
I'm gay. Oh no, I'm a Chris. You are a pervert. All right. Get these cars popping, man. Y'all need to stop being scared. I know y'all at work. Pervert. Take your ass to the break room, nigga. Pervert. 832, who we got? Talk to me. <laughs> you poo poo platter yourself. Let me let me subscribe to OnlyFans or anthologist looking ass voice walk is moist. It's moist. I feel the rain. Let me put on my, my fanny pack pervert. Pervert. You are a pervert. What's good, nigga? Nigga, what's good, Dad? Man, you gotta stop sneaking these goddamn these these guys. You gotta stop sneaking them in on me, man. Man, I, I just I just did right four shows the other day. Man, I know that when you man, it, man, I'm subscribed. The bell don't ring. It don't say nothing when you go live. I always catch the tail end of you or some shit, and I can't tune in. And that's I can't you, don't that's like that's YouTube I'm playing with me, me, man. That's YouTube playing with me, man. But go ahead, bro. Yeah, bro. We we gonna we gonna have to we gonna have to have we gonna have to write them a letter or something, bro. This ain't right. This this ain't right. Yeah, man, they tripping, man. Man, blessings to the church, man. You, goddamn it, it's April Fools, and these hoes still fooling themselves every day of the week. Won't even need April first to come around for them to do that shit. Yep. And and you know some church, you know what's the worst when you got how you just named off when you just named off the foolish type of hoes. What's even worse when you got a mixture of them bitches, and I I just had a bitch the other day, church. I had to leave this all alone. She was a mixture of them. She was a false babe. She had alopecia. She was a she was a fake. She was an old hoe because the bitch was like forty something. And then the bitch had all that fake shit. And then like the bitch, I, I went on a date with the bitch. We chilled. And then we went back to the house. The bitch had a nice house, and she just kept trying to push that. What are we? What we gonna be? I'm like, God damn, bitch, chill. Like, this is my first time chilling with you. Like, she's hitting damn, the she's bitch. hitting the panic button because she's getting old, man. She's panicking right now. Man, these hoes are lonely, Jeff. No, nah, but oh, listen, listen, listen. Long. When she was in her twenties, she wasn't panicking. She was talking shit, dumping niggas, playing with niggas. Now it's like niggas are very. It's it's a critical time in her life right now. She can't just be wasting time right now. Like, no, nah, motherfucker, you wasted all your twenties. Sucking dick, chewing ass, and smoking weed. No, nah, you're gonna relax. Move at a move at a player's pace. Exactly, you fucking bitch, you. <laughs> and, and, and at this point, church, I'm I'm like, man, if a bitch playing games with you, I say count that as a blessing. When a bitch trying to be serious, you need to be looking at yourself and evaluating. Like you, you need to look at the mirror and make sure that you don't be having no glasses and you wear fanny packs. And you marrying a bitch that you went to college with to have four kids by another nigga. You need to make sure that 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 your last name ain't Watkins and that you ain't Moist, bro. Because at this point, if a bitch trying to take you serious, she she does not respect you. It is no longer yesteryear where a woman respects you, so she wants to give you her all and she wants to be she wants to be everything you need her to be. Ain't it ain't that no more. These bitches are looking for saviors from April Jones. All the way, all the way up to April, April seventy seven on OnlyFans. These bitches are lo- are not looking for men; they are looking for pet wallets. So what can you do for me? When the only only way you need to take a bitch serious when a bitch chooses it and she trying to prove herself to you. But from then, from now on, all these bitches, you know this, you know this chap. All these bitches, they always fuck with you. And after they fuck with you, they be like, I need some help. Can you help me do this? These are the most, these are the most independent, I need help ass bitches I've ever met. Every time you turn around, these bitches need some help, but they're independent. They got their own money and they don't need you for shit. That's a like fact. I, I had a bitch church. I just seen this bitch on Instagram in Dubai. Then the bitch came over. Uh oh. She's they, in Dubai. Know, they took the shit on her chest. Don't she suck those titties. They turned her into a porter potty. Fuck wrong with you, man. And and that that's that's my thing. Church like these these bitches are no longer trying to give the best of them to to a man and to a family and to sacrifice. They only want to make 
they only want to make mistakes, make children, then have a nigga come clean up. And I had to have this argument with a bitch because they were like, y'all niggas hating on Russell Wilson because he a real man. I was like, you got to understand, with well, Russell Wilson, he represents our best and brightest because before this Sierra debacle, the nigga had good stats, made, you know, the nigga had good stats, making very good substantial money, keeps his nose clean, the nigga don't get in no trouble, you didn't hear no scandals about him, he don't be at the Diddy parties that we know of or nothing like that, he ain't in the freak offs. He's usually a, a, a somewhat of an all-around good guy and has a good black man image. But the problem is, if he had the same standard that you funky hoes had, he would want the best of, of the best bitches. And it wouldn't be a C-list celebrity baby mama with somebody else's kid that wouldn't that she wouldn't qualify for the name. Especially a, a uh she had a kid by a dude who's a complete contrast opposite of Russell Wilson. So it's like why why you? Because you are the you are the safety gump. She likes though she likes a future ass nigga. That's who that's why she pr- created life with that nigga. You know what I'm saying? That that's who our heart and our pussy is really with. Yeah. She just she just wish you just to lock in and get that investment. Cause best believe, church, as soon as this nigga Russell Wilson falls off, as soon as he retires, I promise you that hammer is coming down. She gonna need some child support and some alimony. Oh, I yeah. promise you, it, it, that bitch don't love that nigga. And and I've made this case several times to bitches. I was like, I was like, now, it, how many times have we seen this man confess her love for for Sierra? How many times have we seen Sierra go out of way or do something special for this nigga? Never, never. He's the fucking cleanup man. Yep. So, so the whole thing is, don't you ever push no motherfucking broom for no bitch. Don't you show up at no bitch house with no motherfucking mop. And and and, and one thing before I go church, anytime I hear that, I, I feel the rain. Uh, I, I think Boyce Watkins in the mirror getting dressed and putting and, and putting his fanny pack on. <laughs> you are a pervert. <laughs> Hey, forgive me, church, for I have sin. I Uh-oh. keep fucking this fat bitch again. Come on, man. What's going on with you, man? <laughs> Nigga fucking a fat bitch. She done took the phone from his ass. Ain't that a bitch? God damn. Two, six, seven, who we got? Yo, what's up, Jack? What up, fam? What's going on, man? What up? Look, man, it's over. Look, 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 my bad. I gotta go. You said what? Get the fuck out of here, man. This nigga crazy. 201, who we got? What's going on, Jaffa Styles? This nigga get the last laugh. Newark, New Jersey. Holla back, bro. All day. Per- 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 you are a pervert. Talk heavy, man. April Fools. Black bitches. I moved to Japan, April Fools. No, nah, but I am in Japan for spring break. You know what I'm saying? Holding it down for the passport bros and the passport game and all that other stuff. But I'm just gonna get real into it. And I'm gonna stay on topic today. Um, what? So it, 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 these hoes fool themselves every fucking day. It shouldn't be. It, it's a, they're the constant April Fools' Day joke, it, but they don't know that there's a joke. You know. Mm-hmm. And, it, and it just keeps going back and back and back. These old, I remember I got a, a homegirl who's a doctor who was doing the exact same thing. She ended up getting pregnant in medical school mm. by, uh, by, a nigga, by a nigga that sells, that now sells Mercedes. You know what I'm saying? But now he got, a, he got two baby mamas. And then he used to be in a drug game and all that. And so she calls me for advice. And she was just like, oh, well, you know, I really like him and this and that. But he'll never, like, he's on my level. He can make the same amount of money uh, money as me. But now every time I go to these single days events, you know, all these engineers and lawyers, um, they don't want to date me no more. I'm just like, well, look at yourself. 
You was trying to get the bag. You was listening to these nasty ass hoes out here. You know? Yep. Now you're the fool. She got kids? You know, so it Yep. It's over. Little girl. It's over. It's over. It, it, you know, they they feel and then they come up with every excuse in the book. It's just like why don't like oh and they make like, these hoes go on Instagram and then they attack. You know, I don't even entertain them no more. I'm gonna get a migraine just thinking about these hoes. You know, just just they're, they're gonna be like, oh well, men don't you know, men don't want to step up to the plate and take care of their kids. You can't help that you fall in love with. Yes, you can. Help yes, you, you can. I, like I told you, and you know what it is? It's these. It's you are only as good as the hoes that you hang around. If you hang around with perverts, you are a pervert. Period. And these hoes don't understand that. You know what I mean? You hang around all these hoes, and especially ugly hoes or below average hoes, they never get any attention. Low key, they're jealous of you because you're the one getting all the male attention and they ain't getting shit. So they're jealous of you because in a way, you're more beautiful than they are. So what they try to tell you to do is, man, you know, you have so much uh, low self-esteem for yourself. You know, you be like, oh, well, you know, that's my girl. You know, let me listen to her. You know, I really like him, but she right and all this other stuff. And now you didn't hit the wall. And now you, you, you're on the panic button. Nobody wants, an old, nobody wants to reproduce with an old bitch. You know? Mm-hmm. Once you reach a certain number... That's what, you, once again, niggas be falling in love with, with, with the younger version of these broads. Once she gets to a certain age, that's it. You cannot, if you cannot mold her into what you want her to be. You got to accept her for who the fuck she is Thanks. at that point. And at that point, and at that point, and where many niggas grow up on, they fall into the love with the 20 year old version of this bitch at age 40. <laughs> so many. So yeah, I'm dead serious. So many hot dogs, so many fucking uh, push pops been up in that pussy. You know, between then, now you thinking you're, you're, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, oh, well, now I get to get her. You know, I've always knew her for a long time, so let me settle down here. That is an all-time low. You are selling at that point. You are above that bitch. You got, you were too far to tell a homie. You worked too hard to go to... I got a homie down in Texas. Um, you work too hard to go to medical school. You know what I'm saying? And he's a good doctor, too. I think he's like a, a OBG, uh, OBGYN or whatever. Oh, yeah. You know that's, that's good work because all these bitches' pussy is fucked up. Right. Exactly. And uh, he's OBGYN. Uh, married. He's having another baby by this. Uh, another, another corporate hoe who I ain't got no. I have no problem against her, but she's a corporate bitch. And uh, had our first child at the age of 21. Now, you know what I'm saying? They live in this lifestyle or whatever. And now he's about to reproduce. You know what I mean? I don't get that. Like, I don't give a fuck. Once you had that baby by that nigga, once you let him shoot up the club, you know, it, it's over. These holes, these holes are done for. And then these single mothers out here, they get defensive. They be like, oh, well, you can't really... You know, people fall in and out of love with people. You know why you laid up with that nigga. You know why you, uh, you know why you gave the pussy up. Stop fronting. All right. And I don't even look at the baby father. I look at them hoes you hang around. Them hoes you hang around it is really the real problem. All right. They validated these niggas for you. And since they validated these niggas for you, um, now you're in this predicament because you listen to some stupid ass bitch who didn't have your best interest at heart. So their pussy's gonna perish in hell and you're gonna perish in hell. TBAS is the movement. I gotta get out of here. Praise it to the church, fuck bell hooks, and long live Kevin Samuels. Pervert. Nine one seven, who we got? Nine one seven. All right, niggas' phones be janky. I told y'all get your iPhone, man. Told y'all get your iPhone, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on one second. Hold on one second. Told you get your iPhone. Three one two. Who we got? 
What's up? It's Big Mike from 87th Street. What's going on? What up, nigga? What's up? What's good, nigga? Wow. I'm all right, man. Man, you you saw a point, man. One of these days, I'm going to show them, give you a testimony, but I like what you spot, talk about April Fools and all this stuff. And uh, this, this is this stuff crazy. Yeah, man. True shit, man. So what's going on, bro? How you feel about these bitches of the day, man? Can't take them seriously. Mm -hmm. You've been it's really it's really in your face that you can't take them seriously. It's like now they don't even care. They don't even care how, their image. They just don't care how you perceive. Because you got a lot of thirsty dudes that still take get at them, give them some type of validation. But you but now what I tell people like this one is this girl worth it? if she's not worth. Stop taking now. That's why I have to stop doing it for myself. Stop taking these hoes out. Stop doing this. Go right to the draw. Like this, is what I want. If you comply, or not. If, if you don't comply, fly. Yeah, but the thing is, you don't have to take them out. You could be out, and she could just come meet I'm, you. It's very. It's it's the game right now is very casual. You don't have to do none of that formal traditional shit. These exactly. fools, these fucking fools, have killed killed chivalry and killed tradition. So we don't got to do none of that shit no more. That's dead. Yeah. Exactly. That's why I'm like, <laughs> I tell them I give them options. We go out for drinks, coffee or tea. That's it. <laughs> Anything else? Nah. We don't do sit down dinners. Yeah, man. They got to earn that shit. About two, three months after, exactly. down the line. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to let you go, big bro. bro. Appreciate your call, big dog. All right, we go. I guess we're gonna end it, man. We got people coming in, popping in and out of the uh, out of the uh, the call queue. I guess y'all y'all can't prank call the call queue. You gonna stand on the call queue or not? Or your fucking phone don't got a got okay. Hold on, here we go. 917, who we got? This nigga got a this nigga got an Android phone. All right, you gotta go, man. Get your phone game to go. You got an Android. All right, we're gonna end it up with uh with Weezo, man. What's up? Weezo, what up, man? Man, Mr. Jab, these, man, these niggas got dog. What's up with these phones today? I don't oh, know, they, man. They fish calling ass niggas. Yeah, know. man. It's that Obama that, phone, that, man. That minister, we got yeah, these man, these niggas like your young nigga men, come on and get it together. The deacon got a good sermon for you today. I ain't blow it up in a while. I'm going to blow it up like I did that maintenance bathroom 30 minutes ago, God damn it. I, but minister, yeah, man. See, black men, come on, bring your ass to the phone. Sister Miriam shared, y'all go, you know what to do. Make sure y'all can hit the like button. But let's get into it. See, black men, a lot of a lot of black males, period. Y'all just don't know what love is. A lot of us, like I said, we come from that club, that, that sugar shack, that mama, and that, that nigga could that laid up with. So now we here now, and it's bad when when a fat bitch with sickle cell uh, anemia legs can tell you and contradict what you can do in your life. That's bad. I hate fat bitches that that with us any bitch boys too. They some of the best telemarketers. But a lot of a lot of things, a lot of you men, y'all taking anything from a lot of these big bitches too, man. How you bitches big and and swole and husky, but y'all don't cook. Every holiday, minister, ever since grandma died, you can't get a plate, of, you can't get a plastic plate of green, no goddamn stuffing, oxtails, or anything for one of these abandoned bitches' ass houses. You bitches, y'all get all that hood, y'all get migrant money. But y'all ain't, what the hell going on? Y'all sitting over here watching nigga men look at the migrant eat and celebrate all the holidays, but you bitches are with y'all arms crossed, standing by us. See, we, we, y'all, nigga, men, you got to stop thinking more about pussy and laying up with hoes. A lot of you niggas didn't used to be nasty like this. Back in the 90s and 80s, you would get your throat cut from my eating a bitch pussy. But now, you niggas, y'all come to the table with that. Oh, I don't eat some ass. A lot of these chicks brag about they, they uh, unwiped ass that they love for y'all to eat. And it's sad because 
eating ass and getting coochie don't make your whole life up. You got to have a purpose in life with these bitches. You need to write a list, a Ten Commandment list. Minister, that's yes, sir. Because see, when you're going into these whole whole hood houses with all this crazy shit, you thinking about your bingling. A lot of y'all need to leave that raggedy ass Android phone, like the minister said in that goddamn Uber car that that uh, African dropped your ass off in. You need to go ahead and get your necessities right. See, you niggas want to go and lay up with one of these Facebook assholes and just get that easy Jill Scott pussy because you know the bitch got low self-esteem, she vulnerable, and the bitch shaped like precious. And God damn it, you, so you feel good about yourself. Right then, it got to be more in life than just land up with a bitch with a goddamn kangaroo pouch ass belly and, and, and some getting some good coochie. And then a lot of y'all ain't getting the coochie right. You niggas are going there with that NBA young boy dick and go bow and then, oh man, and now you got all kind of COVID diseases. You niggas got HPV. Oh, minister, them nigga dicks look like a cucumber and I ain't come out inside. I'm talking out in bark. Y'all got all this shit going on, but you ain't going to get no physical. When was the last time your ass got a checkup? See, minister, a lot of this shit crazy in the hood right now because the, the necessities ain't right. You still got niggas sitting down to pee, God damn it, like mama. Again, and you got niggas doing a whack 100. How you want to get some good coochie, but you fucking hold on a water bed with, a, with milk crates holding the motherfucker up? <laughs> Good oh man, but the hoe ain't got no headboard. You lay with this bitch in the efficiency. Everybody can hear y'all make the y'all two men in a pleasure. And this is what it's all about, minister. Uh, let's keep it a buck, fellas. Man, if you got yourself together, think about yourself for two months. Look at your money. Stop going to ham, Scott. Stop getting on Bego and all these old websites and dealing with these AI looking bitches. Stop laying up with P. Diddy niggas. Stop always thinking about your peppers. It was a time when black men wanted to learn how to do karate. We wanted to skateboard like Lupe for Fiasco. We wanted to do other things. But every time you come around a nigga man, especially in his late 30s, all he do is bring his ugly ass cell phone Thank cell phones to the table and talk about look at this coochie. You niggas lie so bad now. Y'all even Photoshop the coochie. How we know that you got this hoe on Tumblr, but you want to screenshot it and tell about there was a hoe in your DM. See, man, minister, uh, black men, what's going on? Look at what's happening with the migrants. We got to see all this and, and look at this thing for what it is. And you black women, it's sad when an illegal immigrant could come in your state and outdo you. It's sad because they getting all your benefits, but they doing it with their family. You bitch is cutting the nigga out the deal. And then how you going to cut a nigga out the deal? Don't want the nigga, but then want the nigga when you ain't worth a damn no more. We tired of getting that HIV ass coochie. You bitch is done gave the dope boys. You done gave your uncle. All of them the good loving. So now we got to wait till the coochie half dead so we can go on and lay up with it. Why we always got to be Captain Wesley Snipes blade ass nigga to save your dead ass coochie. And then when we get it, it don't get wet no more. Then when we get it, we got to go to Walgreens and buy all kind of oil to dump on the dead ass coochie. Some of you chicks coochie so dead, you pull your panties down and fall on the goddamn hood house floor. See, minister, a lot of you chicks right now, this is the problem. Y'all know better, but you won't do better. Stop listening to your gay ass swinging. You bitches love gangster niggas. You love punks. You love sisters. But that black man, you don't build his ass up. That's why your son more feminine than you. See, we got so many issues in this ragged ass community. You got it. We got issues where the niggas grow half longer than the bitches. How this nigga got just long corn rolls, but ho, oh, you can't even grow a George Jefferson hairline. See, man, look at him. So, fellas, and you chicks, you young chicks, stop letting your mama with that smoke them cigarettes and eat up them crabs and wait on that SSI check. Don't let her mislead you. It is some good nigga men out here, but you got to look her straight. And you fellas, if you ain't got no business being on social media, get your old ass off of it. We sit <laughs> behind Chris Hansen ass. 
tights now. You niggas going to these young girls' houses to try to check the goddamn pressure. But see, minister, well, let's keep calling these niggas out. And if anybody want to get saved, any of you young niggas don't want to be like your uncle with that G-unit ass head cap on, on his head. If you don't want to be like P. Diddy. See, that's the problem with the nigga community. We have a lot of weird shit that went on. A lot of molestation. So much pervertedness. But minister, we got to stay on top of this because we didn't hear this too long. It's a nigga right now laying with his with his fat bitch listening to you, laying with his first cousin listening to you. See a lot of niggas hypocrites like their ugly ass mama, but we got to kick this out of us because black men, it ain't no time to be playing. These migrants finna get your ass out of here. Hey, I finna get you out of here. Fuck the people home. Get you a wife. We got to build wives. We got to build young men. I'm sick of looking at these Barack Obama sisters in Oak Block. I'm tired of looking at these Umar Johnson shaped black women at Walmart, goddammit. So now, y'all bring your ass in the prep line and get your mind right. Yeah, I know it. I know YouTube, your stepdaddy. I know Instagram, your uncle. But boy, it's time for a new leader today. And y'all is in the right spot. So bring your ass to the church. Come to Jesus right now. We ask God that you touch any young man's mind. God, don't let him be lost, God. God, these niggas, they looking at all this weird stuff. They watching uh, FBG uh, cash and all this craziness. God be looking at mama duck. But God, we ask that you touch them right now, God. Get that pervertedness. It's a nigga molesting his dog right now. God, there's so much weird stuff going on. God, you mean, God, they diggling smell like pig feet. Oh, God. God, we rebuke that demonic spirit. God, we we, we rebuke in the peak, did it? Oh, Craig back then. Oh, God, but we love you. And God, we ask that any one of these young niggas get that out of them. Let, let God let them keep his money. God, don't let them go buy no coochie on that Instagram. God, let them keep his money. The nigga got God, oh, this tank top ain't worth a damn. Oh, God, the nigga ain't buy socks since fourth grade. Oh, God, I feel like I'm a booba baba shaba. God, how he want to buy Tucci, but the light bill ain't been paid. God, oh, man, this nigga fucking hoes at the bus stop. So, God, with that being said, we got to get out of the piece, right? How you want to eat a woman's coochie up, and you ain't got, you got teeth like Nas, the old Nas Escobar. Bitch, your teeth have, you got a Batman symbol in your ragged ass mouth. God, I'm this is why we so messed up right now. But God, we rebuke this in your name, Jesus. God, we rebuke these purple building ass niggas calling the minister phone, shucking the jive. God, you got 40 some year old niggas that play so much, but God, they don't know how to be men. These sons like they step mama. But God, we ask that you rebuke them too. And we love you in your name. And we thank you and we say amen. <laughs> Shout out to the brother Light uh, Bridge. Let me see if I can find that there, bro. Shit on this screen. Uh, the Light Bringer. He say, hey, Jab Lord, um, uh, do you believe in cold approaching or do you believe in choosing signals uh, as in only deal with women that show you signs that they want you? Choosing signals save time and waste of energy. I say do both because it's just like, I look at this shit like a game. You don't want to just have good defense. You know what I'm saying? You know, still want to have offense. Because it's like a lot of bad bitches go in there, right? A lot of bad bitches go in the places and niggas don't talk to them. That's why you see some of the most beautiful bitches with some of the most ugly niggas because that nigga had the courage to actually speak to that bitch. Some of these bitches ain't going to just be just be winking at niggas all goddamn day. That's the easy shit. That's a layup. You know what I'm saying? Challenge yourself. Get out here and strike up a conversation. You know what I'm saying? You ain't always got to go for the kill, but strike up the conversation. And if you strike up the conversation, you see how it go. You know what I'm saying? Based on the conversation. If she's feeling you in the conversation, then you can, you know what I'm saying? Man, what you doing later, man? Let's take my number. You know what I'm saying? We can change numbers and shit like that. But don't just go right in. You know what I'm saying? Kick up, a, kick off a conversation. Be creative. But I say use both. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna like if it's a bad bitch in the in the room and she's by her fucking self. I'm not gonna just be sitting around waiting. And she's gonna choose me. I mean, dog, yeah, that shit happens, but that shit is the easy shit. When you get chose, I mean, that's a layup. You know what I'm saying? My girl wanna talk to you. Hey, bet. That's easy. You know what I'm saying? Saves time. Yeah, it saves time, but it don't take a whole lot of effort, a whole lot of game. It don't take a whole lot of know-how. You know what I'm saying? I mean, shit, the bitch chose you. You know what I'm saying? But if you get out here and get at, you got to get out here and get at these bitches' faces, man. I don't give a fuck what none of these niggas be telling. They be like, man, you know, cold approach. I'm not going to argue with that shit. I use both. Depending on the situation, you got to, it's just like I said, it's a game, man. You got to, you got to get your ass on the field and play that shit how it come, man. You know what I'm saying? If you want that bitch, because that, that bitch might just be sitting there just quiet. You know what I'm saying? So that's my take on that, big dog. Bless it to you, though. Appreciate that, 10. You did. Shout out to Chris Norwood. He say, what he say? Stay cold on him like frozen snow. All right, big dog. All right. All right. Let's see, man. That's going to do it, man, for the day, man. You know? I had to get y'all some work today. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it in later on tonight. You know what I'm saying? The black woman is the walking, talking, living <sighs> definition of the true and living definition of an April Fool. <laughs> We're gonna get out of here, man. I appreciate everybody who showed love to the show. <laughs> I got a shout out. My man James Boykin with the $25 on the cash out before we got out of here. You know, I will see y'all niggas later today, man. Make sure y'all go to Patreon. Sign up right now, Minister Jap. On Patreon, patreon.com backslash the Minister Jap. You are a pervert. Sign up is only five dollars, man. We gonna get up out of here, man. I will catch y'all niggas later. Stop eating ass. Oh yeah, we got the uh, the numbers are in. The numbers are in. Eighty-two percent of the brothers said no. They will not let a bitch eat their ass in the Holy Spirit. Perfect. You are a pervert. That's what's up, man. I appreciate y'all niggas, man. Perfect. I will see y'all niggas later, man. We out, man. One. Church, 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 check in. It's your boy, Minister Jack. Listen, I know y'all been looking for me, but at the bottom of this video, in the description section, you'll see where it says follow me. You can follow me on all social media platforms. You know, make sure you click the links in the description so you can get in touch with me and get in tune with everything I post at all times. You never know, the haters might try to take us down. Also, make sure you follow my backup channel, Minister Jack Church Media. Follow the channel now. We are, we are not going nowhere. We're here to stay. Make sure y'all paying attention. Church on the move. Peace. Minister Jap, I'm talking to you, nigga. Yeah, yeah, I got a kid. I got, I got two daughters and a son. Yeah, man. Black women are bad mothers. And that's why you having a baby by the motherfuckers you had a baby with is your fault. That's why you being a single mother is your fucking fault. That's why being a baby daddy ass nigga is your fault. Live from the church. Church check in. It's Minister Jack. Black women, they're some of the most worst bitches on with money, but yet they're still taking trips and they look fly doing. They are the flyest, broken bitches you're gonna ever deal with. On Minister Jack TV. Church check in, man. Church check in.